Oh. You okay? Yeah. I didn't know Marlock. <laughs> Have you guys... Uh, I don't know this guy, but it's the YouTube channel, like, Pirate Software. Yeah. Or, he's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, uh, he talks about the story of the, like, his dad was the Murloc or something. He made the Murloc sound. No, it's a lie. I know, I just saw that video. Oh, he said his dad lied to him because there was a joke that the guy he said did the Murloc sound did everything at Blizzard. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I told you guys the wrong information, I'm sorry. <laughs> I watched the guy a lot, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. He's been popping up on my, my suggested a lot lately. I don't know why. He's hit the algorithm because he pops up in my suggested as well. Yeah. Be very cool. He is cool. But he's a nerd. He is a nerd. <laughs> He's not as nerdy as you'd expect. He is a nerd. Um, uh, okay, let's set back there. All right, let's play this tabletop video game now. Let's yeah, definitely game. not nerds. Uh, we said fog of war in case anything got messed up. And let's begin. So who wants to tell me what is going on? We're going down the stairs because we told our our new allies that we cleared the floor, and now they're getting back up. So yeah, now they're trying to go down. into the dungeon we go. They're dying. They're no, dead. No, it's uh, over. Malik, what did uh, Fleria learn last week? Um, that uh, the evil um person. I always forget her name. Um, she's not trying to destroy just, uh, Atari, but, uh, take over the entire world. Starting with, like, Atari and then Absalom, and then Excellent. she's gonna build a, she's gonna build a boat. She's I hope she doesn't get to her mom. Yeah. Oh, no. Not her mom. Okay. So, uh, you clear out the floor, finally, making it out of the library. Now, uh... It's descending down to some other chambers. Uh, we're about to learn what those are. Uh, walking down these steps, clip clop, clip clop, and you hear, ah, ah w what is that thing? No, no, get away from me! Um, and um, yeah. roll for initiative. No, you don't need to roll for initiative. I'm sure you're fine. Uh, you hear the banging of doors, slamming, flashing of swords against flesh and stone. And you hear doors slamming, tumbling down. Uh... Good thing I don't have either one of those. Yeah, it's not you. Uh, you don't have flesh? Or oh, stone. stone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you hear oh, all The second one being the most notable. It, it doesn't sound like it's right behind this door. Uh, as Junk Shot and Flurry, you guys are up front getting towards uh, the store. It doesn't sound like right on the other side of it. That's maybe a, a little good news. Um, it's kind of echoing down the halls a little bit. But you know, uh, it's more than just one one little room here. What do you do? I uh, let's go back up, door. I think. We don't really need to be here. I crack the door open and I peek through. Okay, give me, a, give me a perception as I remember how to peek. Oh, that's a great start to the day. This is definitely going to be my day for sure. Okay, so you, you start peeking through the door. Let me do it from your perspective. And you see skeletons lying on the floor. There is some, like, candlelight glowing in this room. Um, you peek through and you, you see two doors and some, some stonework, and this looks like, like a meeting room or something. Uh, you don't see anything, uh, moving around. You, you, you don't see anything living. Do we uh, see anything unliving? Uh, well, you see some skeletons on the ground. 
I but they are there. they unliving? <laughs> no, they're just chilling. Yeah, they're just relaxing. I'm taking a nap, I think, maybe. That's good. Uh, can I crack the door open further? You may. Alright, I do so. Oh god! Another door! <laughs> there are <laughs> several doors. Um, at All this right. point, you feel confident you can just open the door all the way. Alright, jump into the room. You jump into the room. So, you see before you this long dining, uh, dining table, dining hall. All these chairs, they're all messed up. Uh, it looks like there was some sort of conflict here. If only we had an investigator to investigate what happened. Um, Did it look recent? <laughs> does, it, does it look recent based on the, the bodies on the ground? Um, well, yes. we had we have our friends that went down the same path as us, so I'm wondering if they fought here. Um, yeah, give me perception for that. Because there's... It's, Definitely some stuff that's, you know, there's dust all over here. Not it's been day. for a while, but you do see uh, a trail uh, breaking up the dust and cobwebs. Uh, two paths of uh, disturbed this uh, ancient uh, scene. One leading to that door, and one leading to this door. It's two two paths disrupting the the dust. The one this this one way looks less traveled by. And the other one is over this way? Yeah, that's... Okay. Can I you tell where this green under is coming from? Uh, what was that? Can we tell where the screaming's coming from? Uh, you here. Uh, which you assume must be Doriana. Coming from uh, down through this path. Uh, and you still hear her, you do not hear Carmen, and you don't hear anything else, so you just hear Doriana grunting and, and screaming down that way. Uh, yeah, you see this, you're in this room, the, this dining room, the chandeliers overhead glowing. Let me, um, let me move the camera. Um, trying to buy, this is clearly a very luxurious room you're in uh the table is still set from what you assume must have been 500 years ago um you see four skeletons in tattered finery scattered about the room some of them clutching their own necks oh, oh. Hmm. i listen to this door Give me perception. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't hear anything beyond the door. Uh. I listen to this door. We care about care about this one and this one. All the other ones, not so much. Yeah, there can't be anything beyond those other doors. <laughs> Based on my stuff. perception, those are the ones we suspect are more important at the moment. Okay, lots of perception checks coming out tonight. Uh before I give you that, what is Junk Shot and uh, Charlie Man doing? Eating. Charlie Man is eating. What is Junk Shot doing? Also eating. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Floria, you, uh, you put your ear up to the store. And you see her grunting and moaning from Doriana. It still sounds like it's not just on the other side of the store. It's, she is must be being really loud um she is pissed off as you know her to be um you also hear it's just very faintly as you're listening please please uh, stop you will just anger him more i peek through this door you peek 
do this door. Creaks open, and you see immediately another door. And you can just open it. I hate it here. <laughs> it's just a five foot square. Until there's Why do door. they do this? <laughs> Yeah, you can just open that. I peeked through this one. Oh my god! You disappeared! My magic. You're in a new dimension. Be careful over there. I don't know why... Hold on. Why is this a terrain door? I can't get through it. You can't. This door is impassable for somebody of my stature. You just have to click it closed and open it again, there you go. Ah, uh, it's open. Oh, it's closed again. I managed to slip in in time, though. I'm just confused. Uh, but why it's, like, it's like the peeking thing. It like messes up the doors, I think. Yeah. It's happened before and we had to just close and reopen all the doors. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do the same peeking through this door and it's definitely not going to be another door. All right, give me a fourth perception check in the last like, two minutes of gameplay. Game time. Uh, this is definitely the one that finally rolls well. Eleven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't rolled well for a five. What you I think my passive perception's higher than that. Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, I'm not passively perceiving. <laughs> Actively perceiving. Actively perceiving worse than you, than yeah. you would be passively. You, you start peeking. It's the nerves, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I'm just that. freaked I'm out. Like if I was a loser, spoon gun never fails. That's true. You start peeking. It always hits me, that's true. You start peeking through this door. And you're, just, you're very focused. Uh, let, me, let me give you, I'll give you a little bit. Start peeking through this door and you see a, a larger room here. It's, uh, you see on the, the west side of the room, you see, uh, looks like uh, what are you? changing walls or something. Um, and you see a, another fancy rug um, and some other furniture. Um, you don't see anything immediately. As you're doing this, though, Charlie, you hear behind you. You just look, you uh, peripheral vision. This skeleton begins to move from grass no. to its feet. Yo, uh, guys, we got a we got an issue here. I there pull him in and close the door. Peeking. Close the door. Okay. No, we don't. I I think the thing was moving. <laughs> Trick of the eyes, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's keep going, boys <laughs> and fish. Poison fish. Okay. <laughs> All right. What do you do? Do you peek more? Do you open the door all the way? Uh, Flurry, I don't think we have time to, to dally here if things no. were moving behind us. You, oh, hold on. I didn't close the door. You open the door? Do uh huh. You open the door all the way. We don't have time to dilly dally. <laughs> okay. You open the door all the way. The walls of this large chamber are hung with grisly paintings depicting various spectral beings, cavorting among ruined neighborhoods, overgrown swamps, and foggy graveyards. Three large, overstuffed chairs pair with small end tables, upon which sit empty wine glasses. Oh my god. To the south stands a cluttered writing desk with its own chair. 
one of the large iron tubs to the west, visible between standing screens depicting shadowy marshes. And just in front of this desk that I described to you first, you see this hideous figure. It's it's humanoid, but its skin is just crawling. Oh my god. It moves oh. as if it's one thing, but the skin moves separate from the rest of its body. And I need you to roll for initiative. Kind of looks like you, Charlie Main. We don't see I'm any way signs hotter. Of anyone else? Like Dorian and. What's his name? The blacksmith, that's his name. <laughs> it's a blacksmith. Uh, he stands up from the desk, looks back at you, says, uh, Who who are you? Why, why are you in here? Oh, us? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I, I guess we're doing encounter, I shouldn't move. Counter, he is not rising to hit you yet. Make that clear. We're the, we're the new interns. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've been getting a lot of promotions lately. <laughs> we change roles often. Uh, uh, interns. Yeah, I don't want to fuck this one. <laughs> what? What are you? What are you doing down here? Well, I was doing a delivery. I was told to bring some papers down. Papers. Papers for what? For me? Writing? Right. I don't know. Papers. What else do you use papers for? Airplanes? What? And the night sky? Depicting? Shooting stars. Uh. Depicting shooting stars. Do you want me to read it for you? Yeah, yes, please. Okay, hold on. Let me pull it up. Um. Okay, hold on. Just give me a moment. I think I have it around here. Oh, frick. Why am I not logged in anymore? Where's my story? <laughs> I'm imagining him rummaging, rummaging through his bag and then pulling out a gun and shooting him. <laughs> <laughs> One that second, officer. Huh? My papers are right here in my glove box. Uh, um, where's my... Do I not have a... You, you Where's my backstory like... that I made? You all don't look like interns. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, you're much too old and too ugly. I'm taking this up with HR. I cannot believe you said <laughs> this to me. This is why there's huh. trainings for these things. I thought I had a background for this character. I can't find it, though. I was gonna read my biography. You know, the one I was writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. In a far tribe to the east, there was a goblin. I don't care yep. for goblins. Next story. Oh, this one's really good, though, I promise. Yeah. I I've read this before. Uh, do you have he a, was a... A picture what? of a goblin, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay. I step forward. And so I, they look I like put this. my hands up. I put my hands up like a picture frame in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Roll performance. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I make a little water swirl around the portrait frame just for effect. Okay, yeah. Give me a performance check too. Before, yeah. Oh. Maddie 20, insane. This picture looks sick. I hate this game, man. I hate this game. Only the most important roles. <laughs> literally less than five on all my perception checks. This random stupid performance that means literally nothing and it's fucking Maddie 20. This is the most important performance check of your life. Um, I hate he, this. He goes, he raises his hands, just like you see there. He goes, oh, oh my goodness. 
What an immaculate display. Wow, did you did you learn to make such a beautiful image out of something, some creature so disgusting? Hey, uh, wait a minute. Juilliard. <laughs> I'm the most handsome goblin in my village. You are, you are hey, Junk, let it go. <laughs> it's a compliment. He called me ugly. I, I don't know if I appreciate that. What, are you going to spoon him? Uh, he might. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, don't spoon me. I, I am not one to be uh, taken in just one bite. You, you need to consume all of me at once. Take in the whole image. So, uh, what are you? What am I? Yeah. What does it look like? Can't you see? Perfection? Do you what do you mean? It? Are you so ugly you can't recognize beauty anymore? Oh, I just meant your role at the company. I, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> my, my role at the... Uh, what company? Well, everyone here is working, right? We're... We're coming from the floor above with the library. I am the, one of the most important people here in all, in all of Gone Light. All, all these beautiful creatures that are roaming these halls, they're my creation. I made them all, and I made them beautiful, and I can make you beautiful too, just like I did to myself. Can't you see? He steps forward. Do you want to know how to become like me? And he reaches out. And now that he stands closer, you can see that his entire body is just worms. Worms crawling on the surface. Maggots, worms, all crawling. As he reaches his hand towards you, some of them fall and like drip on your cheek and stuff. You could be like me too. Uh, like that? One? No, thank you. You don't have to live such a hideous life anymore. Uh, well, I think I'll pass on that. It's a little, uh, eye of the beholder, if you ask me. <clears throat> what, what are you saying? Are you calling me ugly? No, 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 no. I think, no. uh, oh. <laughs> absolutely not. I think you look great, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what about you? What, what, what even are you? He's, he looks at a flurry, yeah. Oh, fish. I am a fish. And a, what, what do you, what, you never heard a fish? Never heard of the Azar Caddy? <laughs> <laughs> no. these, these tattoos of yours, they're, they're beautiful. How do you do that? See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Making something so ugly beautiful, it just needs to be modified. Um. He he looks over at Charlie. And says, "Don't you don't you see? You can be made beautiful." He looks he looks at Junk Shot. You can be made more beautiful too. He's Nothing's just, more beautiful than me. Excuse me. Well, that's just how it is. I I'm the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Do you not see me right now? Nope. You all can see me, right? No, where are you? What? What, 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 what are you talking about? I I'm right here. Well, we can hear you. We just figured you weren't any any physical body, though. You, you with the with the light, shine it on me now. Uh, I don't see okay. anything. Can I like? I need uh, to be seen. Here you go. Well, you gotta come out of the walls wherever you are. No, 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 no. <laughs> where, yeah, where did he go? Why did he? I, here? Uh, but like, of like, I'm doing it in a friendly way. <laughs> to shine the light on him. Yeah, well, you have a spell. You have light. He doesn't know that. 
Well, ignition isn't friendly. But, okay, we'll just do light. There you go. He's lit up. Oh, there was targeting him. There you go. See? Can't what you, am I can't looking at? You see me now? On the room, Ryder. You, fish. Look at me. Oh. Turned you. Look at me. Stand right before you. What do you see? Okay. Yeah, see? Nothing. <laughs> what, was someone talking? I didn't see anything. <laughs> Did you not hear him either? <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't hear. I don't see. What? <laughs> Guys, why are we alone in this room? It's so weird. No, 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 no. You can't see me. I'll make you feel me. Um... Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just took a weird turn all of a sudden. Um, okay, it doesn't end up mattering. Uh, he reaches his wormy appendages out at Fleuria. <gasps> but first, Charlie notices this happening. What do you do? Is it a turn to sense motive? It's one action. Right. Uh, actually, it should be free. It, just sense motive is free. Okay, we sense motive. Was that? Did I fuck that up? No. Okay. Uh, it, it looks like he's just gonna uh, 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 caress Afleria as if uh, uh, he wants to begin making love. Hmm. What? Well, I mean, who are we to stop that? Um, so it, lo it doesn't wait. look like a threatening gesture? Please stop that. No, no, no. It, it looks like he's reaching out and he's gonna, like, embrace Efluria. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm sorry, you can't see him. Charlie is, <laughs> does elemental motion and is ready to fly. Please so stop. So you can get a top row seat to this oh, oh hold on you gotta what yeah okay so now you have a fly speed but you're not flying yet right just okay. i'm just ready to mm -hmm. okay and then i it, that's the end of my turn cool. jump shot All i right. take my 10 free movement speed be here Why is it like... What? I'm so... I just want to sit in the chair. There we go. Finger on the trigger, but not firing. Yeah, just watching. Okay, and you only have one gun loaded. I have both guns loaded on my screen. I only see... Oh, okay, they're both. I just can't see the second icon, sorry. Okay, no worries. Yeah, so... I checked that when I first logged in. Yeah, yeah. He, he strides forwards into the same space as Efloria. And all the worms start enveloping uh, Efloria and they start piercing. Oh, God. Skin. No. Uh, no. Piercing, you say. I, um... Piercing. Uh, I don't think my damage is for piercing. I think it's for the other one. Let me double check. Oh no. I draw... Uh, please give me wave and a dodge reflex save. Yeah, it doesn't work for piercing. I dodge away. Give me a reflex save. Oh, I dodge away. Uh, you do not dodge away. Specifically, you don't use that ability because it is not melee attack. But oh, you do, what is the... <laughs> You do only take five damage. Wow, that's so lucky. 
He's really caressing a flurry. Yeah. Damage even. Um, yeah. You really feel the warmth of his embrace. Um, and then. Wait, did you guys see something? on in this room why are we alone oh, here? Oh, oh. and then he oh i you, dodge away you feel okay you feel these uh, tendrils come across your body and, sh and strike at you uh you want to use dodge away uh you're on top guard um you gain a plus one and you are still critically hit oh no um, and you're taking... Oh my god. Whoa, really? Hold on. Zero damage. Z that is correct. You take zero damage. However, you do take, apparently, two... I I'm not gonna say this. Never mind. Two times 2d8 plus 8 persistent piercing damage, <laughs> perhaps? Yeah. That we see in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you learned that whole formula, I guess. Uh, and it's... Oh, it applies it correctly. Cool. Uh, you already have the persistent damage. Um, um, don't worry, you don't take anything immediately, though. How oh, do I God. get rid of it? You can't get the worms out of your skin. <laughs> huh. <laughs> You know, like the movie The Mummy, when the scarabs are like crawling under people's skin? That's you right now, but with yeah, worms. I yeah. really, really hate that image. You yeah, I mean, all these worms start piercing your skin. They start biting you all over, and some of them start squirming uh, underneath your skin, some in your gills. Uh, so have fun with that. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, very oh, ecstatic god. on that one. He has uh, one more action. Oh my god. He's gonna crit you again. <laughs> and, uh, that was multiple wait, attack he penalty step? crit. He right? stepped forward. He didn't. He already did three actions. Uh, no. That was one action to step and embrace. Oh. <laughs> uh, but then you see this. Uh, blue lights start emitting from his body there's a bunch of uh, these worms start forming around him as if they're forming a, a, a shield oh whoops what hold on what was that okay we're good uh, hey, you guys you guys see that weird light what's it around is there something here? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. I wonder. Plus eight flat is wild. I hate this man. <laughs> I'm curious. Like what is this? How to end this what level is he? Like if I heal myself, do I does it go away? Gotta pull the worms out of you. Yeah, can I do that with my water as like a healing thing? And just not get the healing or something? Like what? Wash them out. <sighs> That's I... what I'm saying. Well... I'm gonna get my next character ready. <laughs> you too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Keaton's face. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking up. I don't... I don't see. How you stop this persistent damage? Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we just, we'll just come you up just with freaking right die. <laughs> I, I when just the worm gets in you, away, the right? worm stays in you. Uh, <laughs> hold on. You can take your turn. Um, it might be automated. It, I'm thinking it's just a save against his. Like, it's definitely a save against his, uh, his class DC. I just don't know which one it is. I guess fortitude? Because it, it doesn't say what the save is. I can't heal myself and just not take the healing and instead cure the condition? Uh, no. 
it's not a it is not a bleed effect there are ways there are like uh elixirs that an alchemist could make that could help you with this but healing itself wouldn't do that please 90 20 90 20 90 20. i mean that's pretty good uh we'll save it for the end of the turn i'll, I'll use that but it happens at the end of the turn because you still have oh, to take okay. at least one round of damage um, it's just you save after you take that damage. Also, this oh, we need we need boss music. Sorry. What was wrong with that music? That seemed really nice. <laughs> Wait, what? What boss? There's nothing in this room except for us. We gotta play the best song. Get beat. No. It was I so good. Get... I added it to the boss music. <laughs> Are you doing anything else? Yeah, uh, so I'm a, thinking... That's a free action, so... That's a free action, okay. I'm barely in right? so it's like... I smack him. Oh, nice! Oh, baby. Is that two 20s in a row? <laughs> uh, no, but that is two 20s today. It's a 40. And that's, Just, um, like, max rolled, almost. The target yeah. is dazzled until the end of my next draw turn. Dazzled. Um, and then I... Use hydraulic deflection. Okay. And then the, whatever that fortitude save was, that 28 or whatever. Take your 28 fortitude. Uh, now let me look up his DC. He has the. Yeah, no, that saves. Um, so you are. Oh, God bless. I would be surprised if it didn't, but it was just making sure that he doesn't have like a crazy DC. <laughs> Charlie Main. You consider that you believe him to be trying to make love, but it looks very painful, and you may want to stop it. Floria, help! You need help. Help! <laughs> how do I show that I fly up? Uh, how it depends on how high you're trying to fly. Uh, just out of reach. Of what? Of the wormy warm. guy, if he were to come towards me. What are you talking about? There's no, nothing else in this room. Yeah, so you have, a, you have a 30 fly speed. I don't know. Let me see if it says how high the ceilings are. I think they are pretty high, because this is like, again, this is like a luxurious room. Um, this was for someone important. Uh, same as the last, like the dining hall. The thing is- I mean, it can't be that high, right? Like we, we're underground. We went, we walked downstairs. It can only be as high as the stairs. There's a long staircase. Uh, I think it's only like, 20 feet high, so I think we can go up 15 feet. Do that work. Well, also, Malik, you remember the other side of the room that you, with this floor that you went to? This is a big. Oh dungeon. yeah, that's <laughs> right. But that was the other direction. It wasn't up, it was down. What? It's the same floor. Uh, no, I know, I know, but it's like I'm saying, like that one was really big room, but not because it was tall. It was because of uh, right. yeah. Dunk shot. Help! I can't hit. <laughs> All right, let me see what I can do then. I uh. 
so normally while you're flying, you, uh, you'll also have to do an acrobatics check um, to see if you can do that while maintaining your flight and not like losing balance. I'll say, I think your cantrips, you can just do. But if you want to cast like a higher level spell or do anything else, uh, you'll have to do an acrobatics check. I think cantrips are fair though. Pretty sure about the real stuff to do. Whatever. Uh, jump shot, your turn. Alright. I am gonna twirl my pistol at the invisible worms. Let me target him before I do this. Uh... Bah! Oh my god, what a good roll. Not a crit though. I rolled a 19. I didn't crit with my plus 13 modifier. That's crazy. Um, and then I'm gonna use my paired shots to shoot both of my spoon guns. Hold on, I'm, I'm looking at. Okay, we don't have to take that one. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you got a critical miss and a hit. At the end of your next turn, each time you miss with a ranged attack targeting enemy adjacent to any of your allies, you hit one of those adjacent allies instead. That's uh, fine. So I'd still hit the worm then. Okay. Anytime you miss. Uh, but For my hit. next turn. Yeah. And I can't shoot anyway because I just unloaded, so that's actually not that bad. And then I hit, yeah, with a 33, and it didn't crit, and he's off guard. the spoon. That was the spoon. You shoot your spoon and it shatters upon impact and you see all the little metal shards hitting all these little worms and he goes ah! You can tell that it did more damage than you expected. It was super effective. It hit all the worms. All of the worms. With, with two damage. So he took uh, two million damage right there actually. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, I need to end my turn. I end my turn. Excellent. Place my card face down and I end my turn. As he's standing there, you see a couple of worms start crawling back up his leg uh, and, you know, jumping off the walls to rejoin him. And you can see he gains a little bit of his strength back. He's gonna. He's gonna. Miss. Because he's dazzled. <laughs> no, he passed. He hit the five. Ty goes to player. I don't know why I can see that, but not, not I can't. Are we not the player? That's just a DC. That's a flat DC. It's not It's on the post check. Uh. A flat DC against Malik's <laughs> status, he ailed. Yeah. So it's against being dazzled uh, from the player. No, it's dazzled not. by the fish. Eyes for opposed checks. Go to player. It's not opposed. Uh, he's gonna do this. I'm opposing it. Yeah, I'm opposing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Flurry. I tried. <laughs> I'm gonna die though. Persistent <laughs> damage. Oh good. God persistent damage. Don't <laughs> worry, so, well, you don't take any damage right now. You will in one moment. The deck turned. Uh how long does this last? Hello, 
Oh, okay. Um. the sound of that at all okay so you're let's see you're... I don't like the sound of it yet away, <laughs> plus 25 or plus 15 I thought news is further right who wants to do a squared b squared c squared for 10 and 15 for me uh 10 15 it's 100 125 five 225 and what's 30 squared uh like 9,000 or something I don't know oh no what's the square root of 225 that's what we have to do do you want me to get my freaking calculator out <laughs> hold on I'm do we gotta do some math so we're playing math finder 15. right now okay huh 225 is 15 square root oh 325 Oh, 325. Well, then that's completely different. That's 18. 18? Yeah. 18.02, uh, 277567537731994646559596. Okay. okay. I think I did math wrong then. Uh, so, Charlie Man and Junk Shot are both in range. I don't know who this guy would hit. Who wants to be heads? I'll get heads because Charlie Main wants tail. <laughs> That's true. I'll make this public. Uh, Laura, so, okay. Uh, junk shot gets hit if it's a one. Charlie Main gets hit if it's a two. Yes! Always a perfect tail. He passed his flat check. Um, so. I need a uh, trail man. Give me a fortitude save. Thank God it's you. I'm terrible at fortitude. Oh, great. Very fortitude. 30 is a success. Crit. Critical success. Uh, I grab the worm and I throw it back at him. Yeah, you. you he reaches out and. He, the worms start flying at you, and they start burrowing into your skin. They start materializing and multiplying on top of your skin, just gnawing at your flesh. Um, you immediately take uh, 18 damage. Um, but because of your fortitude, you know, you, I'm imagining maybe you start burning them off because your skin is so hot, right? And they just uh, they disappear after uh, just one moment. Hey, a flurry up to your turn. <sighs> uh, I, uh, oh, oh, flurry uh. I crit him again for sure. Uh-huh. That's close. Uh, and I deflect. Wait, no. I don't do that. I actually... Wait, you missed a 17. I um, lower rolled my healing and then crit fail though, so that's good. That's a good sign. I apply heal myself for eight healing instead of and a lot more. Um, and I definitely fortitude save, hundred uh, percent. Jesus. Fortitude save you. Hey. You. That was your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, you take 18 damage. Oh god. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Charlie All this man. damage. And not intentionally, just trying to save you. Charlie lands on the ground. I'm hurting you because I care about you. Okay. <laughs> and then shoots an ignition. 
Ooh. And he hits oh. the wall next to him and fizzles out. <clears throat> Excellent. I reload my gun. <laughs> and the other one. What? What a move. And then. Um. I'm gonna say mean words to him and demoralize him for my teammates. Very good. I'm gonna use uh, common. Boo. Okay. That that he's weird. ugly. I'll tell him, you have a face not even a mother could love. Ooh. But he doesn't have a mother. Or a face. <laughs> 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 That's your turn. Yeah, it's my turn, yeah. Excellent. He just yells out. No, oh, no. Everyone will love my face. Everyone does love my face. You see more worms start. Oh, Charlie Man is not healed. Charlie Man, woo! Charlie I'll Man. take it. Charlie Man it takes feels right. Seven damage. Uh, Why do I take seven damage? Because I healed you on accident, so I had to take it back. Uh, he Ooh, heals right? for some unknown amount. Um, seven, probably. <laughs> 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 he says. Oh. Uh, oh, let me check how this works. Um, he says, You say you can't see me, I'll make sure. Right now. Um, he is not oh dazzled anymore. Why? Um, Why was he so good at rolling just above? <laughs> There's no way. Now he's gonna crit Malik too. That's a shame. I hate it here. Uh oh. It says, now none shall see. I can't see you! <laughs> um, and I looked it up. His darkness is stronger than your light. Crazy. It's impossible. Impossible. Um, uh, let's uh, let's do some more math. Oh, I hate this. In this spot, you are ten feet away. Excellent, Charlie, man. Oh. out. You just feel these tendrils wrap around you and worms start gnawing at your skin. Uh, you don't take any damage, but you feel worms burrowing into you. Fluria. Ah. Uh... <sighs> So how do I, how does this work? Do I have to roll to see if I hit him or not? Uh, I can see, <clears throat> I think. I can't tell if I can see or not, but I, it feels like I can see. I let a music stop. Do you guys hear I don't have music? the lines over anybody. Oh, I muted it. Um, let me look at this up. Uh, we don't, we've seen this spell before, so I won't hide it from you. This is darkness. Um, uh, does anyone have dark vision? Yes. Yes. You have dark vision? Yes. Okay. They are concealed. So this is like that, so it's a DC 5 flat check if you have dark vision. Okay, so I roll a DC 5, and what's the hit? Five or higher. Yeah, five. Wait, do I have to roll a d5 or just a d20? D20. <laughs> d20. Okay. Yes. Six. Oh, okay. you can hit. <laughs> 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 Not gonna. 
Yeah, you rolled another five. And I fucking <laughs> kill myself. <laughs> Got my fortitude safe too. Ah, uh, that fails. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Three. I guess I just die. It's a bummer. And you end your turn of charming. What do you do? Uh, Charlie Main casts a level 2 heal on himself. Oh, no. That might heal the guy. Not me. No, it's fine. Sure, we do. Yeah, no. Click on yourself and you can. Okay, there we go. Excellent. <clears throat> and then, attempting to find the door, he runs this way, but doesn't find the door. And you take 32 damage. Uh, nice. Jump shot. Oh, sorry. Um, D twenty to hit, right? Mm -hmm. Do I have to roll it twice? I think you're supposed to. Um, but oh my god. But you're, um, do you use an ability to shoot both at once? Yeah. I will say we just do one. Oh, I'll, thank I'll god. The first one. Like, it's it's one move, right? One. Like, yeah, it is one. Yeah. That's good. I'm glad I rolled my 19 there. Yeah, yeah like, um, a single attack, like, ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it applies as if they're one attack. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna twirl my pistol then. Okay. That's fine. I wanted to crit fail there, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, so I can critically success right here. A 22. God dang it. But I critically hit this one. You did better. I hate this game. can't do anything right. <laughs> We're gonna die. We're wiping here. This is it. He steps. He steps forward. Out. Before you're square. I can't attack a raw material in this. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what you're insinuating? No. Uh, and. Junk shot. No. I need. I'm already dying. <laughs> you're the only one that hasn't taken damage. <laughs> <laughs> I need you. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. No. Oh, not God. junk shot. Uh, you wanna be heads? Yeah, I'll take head again. Okay, we're gonna go uh, clockwise. One, two, three. Efloria. Oh no! Oh no. my god, dude. No, 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 it's, it's fine. I don't even worry about it. Efloria. He healed you. He's adding worms yeah. to you. <laughs> You're becoming more worm. Uh, give me a whistle. Is it on mind control? <laughs> Maybe it should have been on me. I'm quite stubborn after all. <laughs> I can't catch a break, man. Please. Don't worry, that is not a critical fail. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh. Don't worry, it wasn't the worst option. <laughs> Just the bad option. He oh, God. In. He lands in. What's. But. Kind of feels like. His lips against your cheek gives you a and then he whispers in your ear can't you see you can be just like me <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, can, 
you can be beautiful too. Join me. <laughs> Attack the goblin. Attack the ugly one. And um, uh, oh, you're going to. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> you're gonna no. kill me. No, he failed his oh. check. So, no. <laughs> um, I'll let you know. This is the uh, the suggestion spell. Uh, the target immediately follows the suggestion. The spell has a duration of one minute. Jesus Christ! Until the target has completed a finite suggestion. He said attack, so he'll only attack once. But I have to roll in that d20 to see if I hit right, because I don't know where he is. Correct. Yeah, that's true. Roll your roll your one, Mahalik. Oh, come on, come on. Are you no! fucking kidding me? I am so unlucky. This okay, is insane. So, so now it's your turn. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I, I hit him. I, I Where is he? Well, you don't know yet. You have to check my DC still, too. <laughs> yeah. You could still miss, critically. You, so... Yes! <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> He he, to be fair, uh, you know, this is, this is a genie move. He didn't say do damage to the goblin, he said attack. So, I think that's then I, the suggestion. And then I attack him. Let's go! Uh, oh wait, I have to roll a d20 first, huh? Uh, that's... Uh, hold on. No, no, my, my attack against Junk Shot was a one action, I just forgot to change it. Okay. He didn't say I had to do the big attack, I just did a one <laughs> action. Just... Okay. Yeah. Uh, just... that'll hit. <laughs> Give me a d20 though. I swear to god if he misses it. <laughs> he just got up though. <laughs> it would be really funny if you roll you roll the sword right now. What was that? The roll my d20? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he got it! You got it. <laughs> <laughs> roll you, damage, Malik. Roll damage. You should do damage to him. I'm crazy. I'm gonna roll all ones. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Slightly above average. Oh god. Okay, that. Charlie. Oh, you take a uh, only land. Oh my god. You got a flurry. You gotta take uh, 16 damage. Did you really roll your fortitude? No, 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 no. I have fortitude save. I, I save it. I save it. Well, you still take the damage. But you might stop taking damage. Does he stop? No. What? 24! <laughs> You're done, Malik. I'm sorry. Roll a character. The worms have got you. <laughs> you don't like him. Uh... Yeah, no. It's annoying that there's no like grace period. Like you, you like get the debuff and then you succeed the fortitude save and then he can just reapply it like instantly with one action. Like yeah, well, I'm trying to read. Like there's no grace period just, at like, all. His but... attack. It's not a spell. It's just he infects you with worms. Yeah, but there's no like oh for like you're immune to this effect for a, a couple minutes or something after you succeed the save. No, uh... Okay, I'll, I'll look it up while Charlie takes his, uh... His like, turn. it feels weird to have to do the fortitude save every turn. Like, it feels pointless, because it's just he's just going to reapply it. Correct. So it doesn't actually prevent you from doing anything, or taking any damage anyway. So exceeding the fortitude save is pointless. You're just basically playing a clock here, where you just have to kill him before you die. Yes. Which, I mean, if that's the rule, that's the rule. I'm just saying, like, a, it seems okay, weird yeah. that there's no... There's no grace period. take you're gonna keep taking the damage but you can take uh two actions to remove the worms 
and then he just reapplies them again the next turn. Correct. I mean, it it's, doesn't it's... doesn't matter at this point though, right? Because like I, I'm dead. I, <laughs> I know. But like... I take I take the damage before I remove them, so I I'm just dead. Like I have three HP. It's... Yeah, it just it'll just keep reapplying though. Like you don't gain any like bonus to your yeah anything. Yeah. It... Well, good luck, boys. Charlie, what do you do? Do I know where he's at? I don't really know what I know in here. You know approximately where he's at, but like you can't get an exact thing. That's why you have to roll the d20 and get at least a five to hit. What if I walk, try to walk towards him to melee him? Same thing. Like you know what square he's in, but like maybe he's standing okay. at the edge of it, you know? So that's why it's a okay. chance to miss. I step in. Oh, no. no D20. No, no. Okay. If you multiply that up, it would work. So, I'll okay, just take that. Whatever. Up. Okay. So then... We can go above average roll. Early main. Oh, ignition melee. And miss. And I die. Oh, God. Did uh, Jean Shop share any knowledge with his team? Of what I have shared? You saw your spoon shatter? Oh. I you mean, know? no. <laughs> okay. I don't know how that would help them, to be honest, at this point. Well, at this point, I don't know. Uh, you and your parents. And uh, you're gonna take a lot of damage. Uh, 46. 46? I'm sorry, boys. I'm dropping my gun for free action. Then I'm going to do my. Uh, uh, what's it called? A Rand Contours reload. Yeah, I'm going to Rand Contours reload. <clears throat> To demoralize him. Okay. Oh my god! I can't I can't hit these. Uh then I'm going to shoot, I guess. Oh my god, I have to roll to see if I even hit. Please. God. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Malik, you're going down. <laughs> no. I do nine damage to him. I'm dead. You do nine, you do nine damage. Two damage to Malik. And then... Your two splash damage... becomes nine. So it's just a bunch of worms. And you deal... Exact lethal. No way. The darkness uh, fades away. Hold on. Uh, these guys are dying. And following the rules, it's persistent in damage. The worms are still in them. The thing, they're not alive because he's dead. He was controlling them. The worms are not dead. Did the splash damage kill them? No. The worms. He, oh uh, god. The the worm body discorporates. They all when you deal that spoon to them, they all shatter apart, and now there's worms swarming on the ground, and they are trying to escape. They disperse in every direction. I step on him. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you how this works. You have. They're all stepped on. <laughs> you have uh, two rounds. Okay, I'll. I'll, I'll... Uh, can, did you see it in the chat? 
No. You two rounds. Dispatch all of the worms. The worms and my will teammates eventually are dead. reform in one d ten days if you don't kill all of them. Oh my god! I'm just gonna tell you this because I don't think you've ever seen anything like that. Um. So, Junkshot, you have to prioritize. Do you want to shoot a bunch of worms? Do you want to yes. Okay. My teammates are fine. They're, they're gonna die and take persistent damage, and every time you take damage while dying, your dying goes up by one. Ah. Why are you guys infected with worms? <laughs> it just I can't, seems like fun. I can't do anything about this. <laughs> I can't take the worms out of them. I don't have medical skills. <laughs> you, you can... Like just pluck worms out of them, and that'll that'll remove the persistent. But it'll it'll take probably two actions so what, for each of them. So what's my save? Do I have to roll a fortitude again, or like? So you take the damage. You go down to die. But before I take the damage, I get my turn right, because it's at the end of my turn. Yes. Okay. Please. So I. I use, um... Well, hold on, just, junk shot. did you just, like, step on a bunch of them? Was that your last action? Well, I didn't know that at the time. I walk towards Charlie main, but right. I'm out of actions. Okay. I'm in between the two of them. And I use Torrent of Blood on myself and both of them. Torrent of Blood? So I get 14 healing, Charlie gets 14 healing, John Truck gets 14 healing, but he's so fucking somehow unharmed. <laughs> Dude, uh, it's kind of a short combat. I got pretty lucky that time about not getting hit. <laughs> there was multiple coin flips. So Charlie is no longer dying. Still taking persistent damage. He's just gonna die immediately when it's his turn. <laughs> Elliot. You can Elliot. remove the, you can remove huh. the worms. Eventually. Um, and then Get the I worms my out of you, Malik. Stay, right? Get them out. Uh, that was two actions, so you can't remove the worms manually, but yeah, you can just take the fortitude save. You save. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, let's go. And you go down. And take the worms out. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna give him the save. <laughs> Thanks. I don't need to, we don't need to play you through you going down to dying two and then dying three. And then die. And then die. And then yeah. Death, yeah. No, you both of us. Die. Uh, but you, Charlie Man, might still die. Uh. You're gonna take piercing hey. damage. You need to take two actions to, to burn off all the worms. Or just die. Yeah. No, okay. right. Take the worms out. Okay. Yeah. You, you ignite all of these worms. No longer taking piercing damage. Now. Uh, he just died, right? Yeah. Um, Hasn't shot. been a whole cycle yet. Okay. So you guys have two rounds. There's worms everywhere. And I already told you, giving you a little bit of help here. They will reform in a 1d10 days if you don't kill all the worms right now in the next 12 seconds. So, currently, man, that was two actions. You have one action left. Do we, like, are the worms just in his body, or are they moving a direction? They are in his, the space where he died. We have a whole other round to take yes. care of this. Yep. Two more. We have 12 Over seconds. Turn the main moves to block off the door. There's Junkrat's tree. 
Um, yeah, I'm shot. shot. Thank you very much. Okay, it's true. Uh, you were prone, by the way, so you can't walk. Okay. He crawls Stand over up. there. You put me back. I will reload my gun. And then I will shoot my gun at the worms. Okay. After I take a step over here and hurt everyone again. Uh... Sorry, boys. <laughs> Give me a, a flat check, d20. I have to flat check? Yeah, so you fire your gun, and you hit the space. I'll just give that to you. Um, okay. You deal damage to the worms, but you don't kill all of them. You just hit a Why couldn't I just roll like this? 28 well, I just with my you, hit modifier. I just gave you the hit. Oh. I want the damage, though. I want that okay. six. <laughs> I want that sweet six damage. <laughs> okay. I want to know if I crit. And the worms begin dispersing more. Efluria, what do you do? Um, I. <sighs> Tight all hands. Okay. There's yeah. a way, so I, I'm at the door. I'm blocking the door right now. So they're spread out like here and here. Are they like worms? What's... They don't, they don't go over. <laughs> they can. They can go under the door. But are they past me yet? No, no, they're still in the space for now. So I kind of like trying to get the whole room here, in okay. this cone and then yeah I blast them with this big wave of water yeah you splash them drowning so many of them give me a d20 it's not like a attack by the way it just hits everything in that area I'm aware that's how many worms you killed you splash down and you drown all of the worms oh thank god i pick up my gun it's over <laughs> i reload them uh i think that i'm gonna a tight one boys read our wounds i didn't think you guys were gonna make it yeah, can you just give me, what are, what are you doing? <laughs> um, immediately after the fight. I uh, eliminate myself. So I'm gonna target Charlie. I'm gonna give him an Ocean's Bomb. He heals for eight. And I'm also going to treat his wounds. Successfully for sure. Charlie heals for 28 total. And then I target myself, and I treat my wounds also successfully for sure. And I heal myself for 24. Critical success. I like how the crit and the non-crit healed for almost the same amount. Because I fucking ro low roll. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, yeah. And that's um, what I do for right now. Okay. That takes you a few minutes to do all that. Chunk shot reloaded, and then what? Um, I'm gonna survey the room to see if there's anything valuable in here for us. You're looking for something valuable. A 30. Yeah. You find two things. Nice. You go across the room. First thing you find, at his desk. You think that's a good spot to check? I do. Yeah. He was, he was doing something. You... Find... Whenever 10 minutes passes, I heal, I heal us more. 
You find God. an unusual object. It's a, oh! It's a, it's a lantern of some sort. I found a thing that's very useful. You find a couple magical scrolls, and you find one important piece of treasure. Uh, you want you want to tell the class what you find? I found a detailed blueprint of the abomination vaults. Go. Oh. There. Dang. Hold everyone. The top three <laughs> levels of the abomination vaults, including all the secret doors. Well, that's not useful. <laughs> Wait, are we on the third floor right now? The top three floor. Uh, this is four on the four. God dang it! It's worthless. <laughs> Uh, there, let me check. There might be stuff you didn't find. Uh, just looking through real quick. You're reading through this and you're like, oh, we already know all this. Um, but on the first floor, um, you know exactly what is there and you already found all of the secret doors there second floor the servants quarters uh you do learn more history about it and like what these rooms were originally intended for um, yeah because you just saw them overrun by uh, zombies and stuff uh the second floor you find no secret doors that you weren't already aware of they use the rest oh, of good. on the third floor you find No secret doors? You find one secret door that you went anywhere. Oh my god. Well, we need to go back. Technically two, but they go to the same room. We need to go back. There could be treasure there. Treasure! That is what you are! The room is not uh, going to be immediately useful to you. Uh, I'll tell you what it is in a moment. Um, we'll take too much description to describe what it is. It is a spying hall in that, that long hallway um, between the uh, the jailer and where you found Doriana. Mm -hmm. The western room where there's the glowing lights and you guys are like, ah, I'm just going to leave. Um, yeah. Beyond that, there's secret doors as a spying hall. There's teleportation uh, circles that you can go there, and you can spy on people. That's good. Yeah, and you can also teleport prisoners there and just lock them in there. Um, I will give you uh, one more piece of information about this floor. It does, it does uh, give you general layout of this floor. Um, you, you know that there are caverns connected to many of these rooms um, uh, that it, it was built out and uh, there's, there's tunnels uh, connecting many of the rooms uh, on this floor that were constructed. Um, and it, it doesn't give you too much information, but you get the feeling like there's probably something connected to this room. I really get the feeling there's something connected to this room. There's just uh, there's a couple little markings uh, that describe uh, tunnels and secret passageways, but it doesn't. Uh, it looks like they didn't finish the blueprints in time. These are old mm. blueprints. Did you also find, in addition, all that stuff in the desk. You pull open uh, a hidden drawer underneath that one where you found all that stuff. Can you find an iron key? Let's go. We love getting keys in this group here. Can we identify that object? Uh, the lantern shaped one you said? You can try. Huh? 
Doesn't list the skills. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, I'll give you uh, Arcana or Crafting or uh, Cultism. Crafting, huh? <laughs> Wait, where did my bars go? Wait, oh, there it is, okay. Skills, crafting, luckily I am quite skilled in that. You don't know what it is. So hard. Luckily I'm really good at Arcana too. Ooh. And occultism. <laughs> How does that happen? Yeah, I'm I'm just lost. I don't know where about it. Oh, oh, oh. examine it. Dude. It's just strange I just... glowing lantern. Uh, How much uh, time has passed while we've been doing this? I don't know. Has it been 10 minutes? 24, that's a good check. 10 minutes, uh... Sure. Okay. I heal myself. I can't. My fucking thing is gone. Let's stop. Uh, disconnect. Uh, there we go. Okay. Let's do crafting or cultism. Matt just did Arcana. Uh, yes. It does not reveal what the item is. No. Matt heals for 7, I heal for 15, and then I heal us both for 15. So I heal for 30, and Matt heals for. Um, 22 total. And, and uh, I'll give you like automatic aids <laughs> to, to this uh, thing. However, your your arcana doesn't help maths. You'll give me aids? <laughs> yeah. You guys are all collectively like trying to figure out information about this. Um, oh, I try I guess, help I too. I guess 18 does help. Um, What's the rolls available for it? Crafting Arcana or Occultism. Crafting you, Arcana. You know what? I'll give you a hint. Uh, you just need to get 15 and at least one of those now. We're going to make this a progression. Oh, that's a 15 you. right there. That's a, that is at least a 15. <laughs> <You got it. laughs> this is a lantern of empty light. <laughs> it's a lantern. Of empty light? What the heck is that? Uh, once per day, you can direct the lantern light upon a single living creature within 60 feet. A creature must attempt a will save to resist the light's effects. Uh, on a critical f uh, or on a failure, they become fascinated with the lantern's light. Remain fascinated as long as you sustain the activation up to 10 minutes. Wow. Um, and you can activate it once per day. You can direct the lantern's light upon a single incorporeal undead creature within 60 feet to siphon away some of the creature's essence dealing vitality damage to the creature so you can just do 48 uh or uh, d8 uh damage to any undead creature once per day with a will save oh. that's pretty good yeah you also see three scrolls anyone wants to take those anyone that uses spells and learn some scrolls, which is none of you. But maybe uh, you wipe on this floor and you get a friend that is a wizard and can learn. Or maybe spells. somebody wakes up that suddenly became a wizard. <laughs> Wake up from the nap, no longer alchemist, now a wizard. Um. Hey guys, don't you think? We're forgetting something, and then, uh, like, weren't we following some screams or something? We're following the screams of the worms now. I am the Worm King. <laughs> we'll take the lantern. Have we heard Doriana, or, um, what, whatever his name is again? Carmen. Carmen Rajani. Um, you guys were a little distracted in the fight. To, to hear anything, um, but um, junk shot. Yes. Your perception, along with the, the clue from the blueprints, you realize there's probably in passageway, right? Out here. 
Where? Oh, thank you. Okay. Yep. Right like here? here? Yeah, right there. Okay. Can you see, uh, um, there's a painting here. Um, and you realize it's not fully attached to the wall. It looks like you can, uh, it'll rotate off. You, you look at the corner, you see some hinges on it, and it swings outwards. It's just a cube. There's nothing in here. <laughs> you look around for a moment, and yeah, you, you, you'll find really it. She's it's I'll a panic it. room. <laughs> you just had a panic room. By the way, before I let you go forwards. We have to go backwards. Who did you just kill? Um, His name was like Valis or something. Was uh, he the... Uh, he's the lover of the like, one girl. Yes, that was Valak Azrene. He was the mad scientist that the... He's the one who made the doll. The doll and all the undead and stuff. It was his science. Um, he was the beautiful, the beautiful elf. It was super vain. Uh, loved, loved seeing himself. So that's why he had all the portraits everywhere. Uh, but he scratched out because uh, he turned himself into a monster and found himself ugly so he destroyed it because he thought he was once beautiful however in the past i don't know approximately two years he uh he really got some good self-reflection time in and he found out you know he's beautiful just the way he is the uh, goblins aren't no goblins are ugly that's, that's so why he, that's why he took the goblin killed the goblin put it into a doll instead because the goblin was too ugly um anyway you find Take the door. And you open it up. In this room. In this room. Is that board dig? <laughs> this is a circular room. Uh the the walls are made of stone, but they're they're smooth and gray. It's a flickering, nauseating ribbon of blue light churning in the center of the room. Where the light touches the ceiling, the stone bubbles as if it were that infected flesh. Below, the light bathes, a screaming, thrashing dwarf bound to a metal table, his body covered in blisters. And on the eastern end of the wall, Doriana is chained up, lashing out, screaming, Let me, let me out! I'm, I'm gonna kill them, I'm gonna kill them all! And you just see the dwarf, oh, please, stop. Make it stop. Um, and you, you see this, this light beating off of the dwarf in the center of the table. It looks like it's draining life from him. That's not good. Tell you that right now. <laughs> As somebody with life to drain, that that's not a good thing to have happen. Yeah. You go, go, get me out of here, Doriana yells. Eh. Well, what's the light? Uh, are you asking Doriana? Yeah. I don't know, just get me out. If I can't shoot it, it might hurt me. How'd you end up here? That, that fucking monster it just wrapped itself around me and threw me in here. The worm guy? Yeah. Ah, oh, he's dead now. Anything else here I should be worried about? I don't know, this, this dwarf's got something on him and just, the dwarf just starts, uh, please, get me, get me out, stop this torture. I get out one of my knives and try to lockpick the um, things on her. Okay. Um, make it quieter in there because that's really loud. Um, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, you 
pick the locks. Let's freaking go. She goes, oh, <laughs> thank you. She, she goes, ah, just don't don't stay in here for too long. Um, she steps up and moves. Uh, for some reason, your teammates haven't uh, jumped in the room with you. Uh, because the game is paused. Oh, true. I haven't been able to he move. Was moving. I moved. It wasn't I, paused for me. I know. I, it, it was okay. just paused now. It's paused now? I was trying no. to move, but it wouldn't let me, so it was paused. Oh, okay. It's not paused right now. <laughs> Nobody uh, moved. Yeah. I need everyone to roll for initiative. Oh, God. Not again. I'll let you move into the room first. That's what you would wish to do. Initiative against two with the dwarf. Turn order. Question. Yeah, I'll move. I'll move Dory on the back. She just she stands up. I'm being chained up. Uh, Charlie. He is not at his desk. Charlie rolls for initiative. He's fast as heck, boy. Uh, begin encounter. Charlie was first, uh, but he's gonna delay. Junk shot. Um, I guess I'll do a perception check to try and figure out what's going on, to see if something's off in this room at the moment that I should be worried about. God. Uh, well, you look around and there's this. You hear this, ooh, this glow uh, going throughout all this room and this this light uh, brimming throughout it. Um, but you do see this this particular beam of light just pulling what looks like this dwarf's essence into the ceiling as the ceiling right above him bubbles and you think, well, it's just probably something like that. Mm, okay. You, you don't really know what that thing is. I'm gonna take my 10 free movement speed. I'm gonna target him. And I'm gonna try and unchain him as well. Like I did with Doriana. Okay. Uh, you begin to try to unchain him. Uh, of his uh, well manacles he's changed like arms and legs you, you undo his wrist uh, all of a sudden the light changes from blue to this this blinding uh, bright yellow light white light uh, I shoot it yeah I shoot the light you hit the light Sorry, Mr. Dwarf. Wait, which one? Yeah, okay. And I end my turn. Okay. Uh, it takes... 16 damage. Uh, I... I'm going to save off the chat real quick. Set all this. Okay, and it takes it takes some damage. Do you run into the else? Ah, fuck this wolf! Fuck this wolf! Fuck this wolf! Just get out of here. We have important stuff to do. We have to save everyone. Their potential what customers. To Carmen? What, what did you say for? What happened to Carmen? Uh, I don't know. He got he got taken away by something. Man, I I didn't see it. That's where what? I gotta go. You you guys waste your time on this dwarf if you want. 
I'm finding my husband. When she gets here, she looks at all the limbs on the ground and she stops for a moment. Uh, the dwarf lays here. Bad. He's got a free hand. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can punch. <laughs> uh, I don't think he can punch. But he can uh, try. He can punch the light. He can try to uh, undo himself. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> he does. He even, he even does his other hand. Oh my god, what freaking beat? <laughs> Didn't think he'd be able to do that, but he did. Um, okay. Um. What should we do, guys? Should we go follow her and see what happened to Carmen? We can't just leave this guy. I mean, it seems like he's free now, isn't he? No, he's still got his leg shackled. Ah, uh, well, I'm not very good at taking those things apart. I'll let you handle it. At least take... Yeah, my deep freeze pad. Um... <clears throat> what's this? I don't know, what is it? It, uh... Well, I'll show you what it looks like. Does it seem nice? No. Is it attacking us? Yeah, it's attacking the dwarf. Um. Huh. All right. Does it say anything, or is it just it just shows up and starts fucking up the dwarf? It's been it's been fucking up the dwarf, but now junk shot shot it. I shot it. Did it take so, damage? Yeah. Yep. Can I recall? Sorry, I moved by accident. I forgot we we're doing turn over stuff. I didn't mean to move yet. Um, what would it? Is it a free action to recall knowledge or like perception to see if this is a haunt? Uh, we or like it is an action. Or an actual creature. Like I know, but what would it be to figure out if this, like, to know if this is a haunt or not? Uh, cultism, recall knowledge. I do that. I'm trying to give him the suck. I use occultism, recall knowledge to see if this is a haunt. This or is if it's like not a... a haunt. This is a creature. Okay. So and now I'll, that I know I'll that. I'll even tell you that this is, this is a will o wisp. And it can be killed. Oh. It will not regenerate. It well, can't be killed. killed. It, it can. If you bring itself down to zero, which may be difficult, but if you bring it down to zero, it's, it's gone. Okay, um, I use... Willow Wisp uh, is a fire type move, so water cold, should be super effective. Yeah, I'm using water, <laughs> cold element attack on it. And hits. For 16 cold damage. For 16 which, cold damage. Which is bonus, because it's a fire type. You get two times damage. <laughs> this is not a fire type. How is it not a... It's Willow Wisp, bro. Do you want to know what type it is? It's an air type. Oh, we need electric. He probably means flying. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Uh, that's your turn. The will o wisp directs its attention to well, two people are fitted now. Uh, I assume keep is gonna be heads again, uh, so it's gonna hit. Sure, yeah. Here, I'll be able to see oh. cheating. Uh, let's do... Oh! It's gonna fly right next to him. Her. Give you a good old... Which is it? The shock. Uh, I, um... Roll out of the way. Alright, I dodge away. Okay. 
plus one reaction. Okay, it hits. God, you take 13 electricity one day, damage. One day that's going to be useful. Um, real quick, can I check your... Elemental Blast is not magical, correct? <laughs> Um, it's an impulse. Yeah, but it's, uh, is it magical? It has a... It does not have the magical No, it doesn't tag. have the magical tag, yeah. Uh, okay. It does have cold, and it water, and attack, and primal. My house has the cold effect, yeah, that's too. Yeah, it, it's not magical, it's primal. It's primal. That's the, yeah. Yeah, oh, it that's gives like... you a shock. And then... Wait, I thought I was super effective against it, but it's super effective against me. And it goes dark. Charlie... Magna... What do you do? Uh... Early hastes junk says, Hurry up and deal with the shit in there. I don't want to die again. Oh. Come help us. You got full health. Oh, so God. Oh, it. You get a free action to stride. For one minute. Stride or attack. Who does? Uh, junk shot does. You're oh, hazing. it's my turn? It's your turn. So attack or stride? Attack or stride. Perfect. I reload both of my weapons. <laughs> Where'd he go? I was... Uh, it I flew, was not here. It flew over to this square, shocked the Fluria, and then disappeared. Hmm. Uh... I'm gonna just keep helping this guy then, because I can't, I can't shoot what I can't see. Uh, so that doesn't do anything. But uh, I'll tell you, you know, it's still in that square. Like it hasn't had oh, a I chance do? to move. It just disappeared. So. I'll tell you, it is hidden to you. You have a DC 11 flat check if you want to hit it. Oh, I can do that. And you hit it. Oh, baby. I'm targeting the wrong thing. Oh, uh, 29 is not a critical hit. Also does not kill it. It does damage. And I end my turn. You only shot it once? Well, I already took an action to do the thievery. Oh, I had okay. two reload, which is a thievery and a shot. Two re oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Goriana just looks back at you guys she says I, I'm, I'm sorry I, I know you helped me but you know she, her, the look on her face softens a little bit I, I know you helped me but I, I don't at the time I, ne I need to find him you understand I, I, I'm not being selfish it's dangerous to go on your own though we should stick together We're stronger as a group. But, but, if you go by yourself, you're just more likely to, you know, fail to save him. If we go together, we can save him. Uh, give me a, yeah, I'll, I'll let you do this. Give me a diplomacy. I'll let you do that for free. Cause I like that. 
Uh, that should be hidden, but that's okay. Uh, I forgot to tell you that. Uh, she, she looks back because she, she's like, you're right. You know, she, she's running back and the whole time she's talking, um, she only has six seconds. Uh, but she'll continue this later. She says, you're right. I've been spending all this time just trying to do everything on my own. Didn't make any progress until you guys showed up. And she, uh, she's gonna do some thievery. So I'm not this guy. She focus. Uh, this guy's gonna try to thieve on himself. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, all these failures. Um, the hunt, the the will is gone. Right. It's invisible. That's what you mean by gone. <laughs> um. Tell so you, you would know if it died. I I guess I also do theory. Well, actually, I also. I oceans bomb myself. God, I'm still not full HP. Um, and Brother, you saw me hit it. You did. I <laughs> walk into range and I do a theory. his hand back down without realizing just kidding you just don't succeed <laughs> okay it's just not my day the wisp reappears behind the Fluria. Oh. hog critically fails this is a melee attack, and it becomes confused. You attack wildly. You're off guard. And you don't treat anyone as your ally. And this has to be all the actions to strike. I guess are determined randomly. One, two, three, four, five. I declare a thumb war. Young Shot is one, and Flurry is two, Charlie is three, uh, Dorian is four, and the dwarf is five. Uh, that was. Bye, Mr. Dwarf. That was one, two actions, but uh, if you guys can split your movement, so can it. It has one action. Left to strike. Oh God! And you were not supposed to see that roll. Doesn't matter. Uh, deals some damage. <laughs> yeah, it kills. You're kidding me. He kills the dwarf. <laughs> no way. <laughs> kills. This dwarf here. Well, I didn't know he was so low HP. I would have healed him. He wasn't that low. He was not that low. He was almost low health. Dang. He was not an adventuring hero like you guys, though. Uh, oh, God. Poor guy. Can I, like, is he dying or is he dead? He's dead. Like he doesn't go to dying? Like we can't help him? Okay. Did it do double it? Did it do double his total HP? Oh wait, what the fuck? Here, here's what I'll say. We, we can make it so that... Like, named NPCs go to dying. Instead of dead. And normally it's like really specific, like, bosses. 
I go to dying instead of dead. We can change it so that all named NPCs go to dying. But that means every boss, every elite will also have a chance to revive. What do we think? For this one dwarf, we'll do anything. <laughs> You want this dwarf to go to dying and then let all every <laughs> boss also have that opportunity? Yeah, he's probably Sorry, the I'm most back. important character in the game. Uh, I can't okay. imagine choosing him would be very good for us. Uh, one vote, uh, Matt. Sorry, I'm back. Malik? What's up? What's up? I'll abstain. I don't care either way. Stay in Malik, okay. Sorry, I had to come back. Uh, I just got back. What was. What? what? So normally. Uh, it's very few like specific bosses and stuff specific characters like npcs that will go to dying and have that system normally uh -huh. they just immediately die but we can it, it's a fairly common house rule to just let named npcs they all go to dying so we can make this guy go to dying instead of just straight dead is so, he named he is named but that would mean like every named bad guy also has this opportunity Every single boss you fight, basically. Unless they have special rules like Volik that you just killed. Like, they'll all have like the dying rules. Um. Shit. Uh. What are the votes right now? Uh, one vote for yes, one abstain. You're okay with this applying to the bosses, Keith? Not really. <laughs> he wants to save the door. He voted yes, though. <laughs> can we, can we make it just allied NPCs? No. Why not? <laughs> well, how does it work for enemies, then? They normally just die. No, I know, but like... How does it work for dying for enemies? Same way as you. They like, roll to get back up, like. Yeah, they'll, they'll go to dying one, dying two, dying three. All those NPCs Malik killed for no reason we could have saved. That's true. There was a reason. <laughs> what what would it be, Malik? Oh man. <laughs> I, I, I've known of this rule, I just never brought it up because I was like, no, that's that's complicated and also... I, I feel like it's just not a good idea because we've gotten so close to wiping so many times where like if we had to fight just a little longer, <laughs> if we probably would be still dead. Off. Yeah. <laughs> like even the Volok fight, like that one, if we had not killed him exactly lethal there, we were almost certainly TPK, like... I was fine. Yeah, he's, yeah, a, he's a pretty he's a pretty hard fight though. Yeah, um Fuck. Okay. Um does it does this character matter? <laughs> did did it seem like this character was like Depends on what you mean by matter, I guess. It's, it's like it's not gonna like change the entire What's course of the name? campaign. What's his name? Yeah. <laughs> Lazda Venkervail. I feel like Vankervale? he's not worth saving. Like, nah, I don't know. I feel like that rule's too dangerous. I feel like we're just not. Like with Malik. our. Malik is um, contemplating the value of life as if he's an insurance company right now. <laughs> yes. Like, I Correct. Don't know. It depends on what you. Like, I'm not going to tell you the exact repercussions of this guy's death. He's not. He's definitely not the most important character. He's not like Doriana. Otherwise, you would have heard of him already. Yeah, I mean, just outside of this character, I'm thinking about the rule. I feel like it's just too dangerous. It could make it more fun. 
It could make it more fun, that's true. It does add a new aspect to combat. It'll, it'll, it'll make combat swingier, for sure. <laughs> it'll you for can, sure do you something. You have allies now. Like, if Doriana goes... I would think... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It does apply to her and, uh... Carmen. Carmen. You have allies. Well, I mean, if I vote no, then we're split, right? Does that mean there has to be majority? Like, yeah, if you vote no, it's not happening. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, we have the big bosses left too. Like, this is. Don't worry, if they're a big <laughs> enough boss, they probably have special dying mechanics like Volok. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, whatever. Fuck it. I'll say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've convinced me. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, he's not dead. He's a dying one. Worst thing that happens, we just roll new characters, and that's always fun. <laughs> it's always True. fun. True. Um, let me open up this character sheet. Um, give him one health, just because for some reason. I have add-ons that just mark him as dead, and I can't target him. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, he's gonna be a dying one right now. Heroes never die. Uh, Charlie. What do you do? Is it... Do I have to roll to shoot through teammates to hit the thing? Uh, no, you just get a, a minus. There's two of them, yeah. so I think that's gonna be a minus four. The dwarf is laying down, though. He's not in the way. Okay, the minus two. <laughs> you convinced me. <laughs> what I do best. Okay, I move in front of Afluria. Oh my god! Natty, critical hit? Thank god. Double somebody damage. did something, finally. This electricity spell is not. The target takes double damage at the end of its turn. And at the start of its next turn, it takes normal damage. Whoa. Let's just do double damage. You do double. Double damage? You know what happens to this? He dies. Named? Dive. Yeah. Charlamagne does not take damage, but the Will O' Wisp does in combat. It's over. Can I do a perception? Would it be perception to see if it was a hazard? Uh, Malik already did that. Okay. It was not a haunt. Gotcha. But yeah, perception. It, I, if that comes up again, it's probably occultism most of the time. But this guy's dying though. Here, let me let me. I think I need I'm to change something in the rules, but he's dying. I'd like to I free can, him in the I meantime. I can stabilize. Oh god, that's a bad roll. Okay, he's not dying. I'd like to keep trying to unlock him. Okay. He's the most important character in our party now. <laughs> Even more important than Shrek. What about Salvi? Look at where'd he go? <laughs> he was with Vera. He's with Vera, huh? He he was starting to die. Like he was really low health. So he's healing up with Vera. Nice. Uh yeah, let's say you can, you know, take ten or take twenty. And unlock him. Um, and he'll stand up and it'll say, oh my, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you all so much. Who, who, who are you? What are you even doing here? The name's Elnar. I'm here to make lots of money. Oh. Well, th th thank you. Uh, it, it, 
So whatever it takes to get me out of here. Uh, and it, he's like a uh, heart of grass. Uh, uh, oh. Hold on. It was the best thing we could have done saving his life, as it turns out. Because Keaton just found out he's actually extremely important. We're gonna look back on our TP game <laughs> and be like, where was the moment <laughs> we went wrong, you know? And this is it. <laughs> this is the moment. I'll never regret saving his life. <laughs> this is <laughs> Later on when we're like, oh man, how did it get to this? This is how it got to this. So we just have to make note of this. This is And it was completely most... your decision. Probably the most critical moment in the entire game <laughs> was this decision made right now. By you. You by free? us. Lazda. And it takes him some time to get his breath back. Mm -hmm. uh, but the fish keeps healing him though, of course. Yeah. As soon as, yeah. Maybe you guys help him down, or Doriana, and you guys help him down uh, off of the table after he regains his breath a little bit, regains a little bit of health. You guys were able to get him off the table, and the light extending from the center of the room, and that those fleshy bubbles in the, the ceiling disappear. And so too does this, this haunting him and um we're just gonna remember when the boss is slightly easier for some reason it's because of this moment the lights and the haunting him disappear and uh i'll just give you guys this uh, you start thinking about the shape of this room and that swirling light and you remember oh. teleportation well I remember oh. a swirling room just above us that oh. had a similar damaging light. Uh huh. We should leave. And you. And. No, hold on. And you realize, well, the same thing happened up above. It's that same light that was extending from the lighthouse. Oh. Did well, we do it? Did we save the town? Once you remove. Lasta. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Uh, you can you can hear it. It slowly fades away from this room, and you can hear it humming from up above you, and then it slowly fades out. You didn't just save Lasta. You've at the very least stopped some of the threat of Gauntlet for now. Oh my God. I knew he was important. Thank you so much. I, uh, 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 I, I, uh, he stumbles to the ground. Says that that man was doing horrible things to me. Please, you have to. You have to stop whatever's going on here. Do you get to you guys do anything? Um. What was he doing to you? <laughs> He's. Exp I, don't, I don't even know. I was passing in and out for the last. Three years. <laughs> oh my god. He was just sustaining me. He would feed his worms to me. And keep me alive. He, he would... He would put his hand down my throat and force the worms in, into me. Are they still in you? Uh, he was using them as just food for me. Keep me alive. I, I don't know if he infected me with anything else. Oh god. But I, I feel so much better now being removed from whatever that thing is. He points up to the, the ceiling. 
Uh, just talking about the light, right? There's nothing new on the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, how did you get here? Uh, I don't. I was just taking my my daily walk in the morning. Uh, in gauntlet, your daily gauntlet walk. No, no. Uh, well, before I opened the bar, I'd say I, before I cleaned the bar, I would I would, I would walk around and I saw this man uh, off in the distance with with a lantern, and you know I, I called out asking if he needed help, and the next thing I remember, I was I was in this room. We have that lantern now. Oh, I. Does that mean he, you killed him? Yeah. And I know you said it already, but you know he's he's dying. Or he is almost dying. He's like, oh, oh, that's that's such good news. I scooped that worm man up with my spoons. Oh. Did did you eat him? Nope. Just scooped him up. Oh, okay. And Doriana then says. Great. Now that we got him, uh, we we saved this this guy. Let's go on. And then she she looks back and says, uh, "I'm I'm sorry, Lasta. He hasn't introduced himself to you. Um, I'm sorry, Lasta. I there'll be reinforcements soon. Just just regain your health. Oh, we'll we'll send Buck after for you." But the rest of us, we need to continue down and find my husband. And, and he looks up at her and she, he's like, Oh, you know, is this Doriana? Eh, why? You, how have you grown? And he says, Please, no, you, you need to help me now. And uh, she says, Come on, guys, let's go. Give him some health, Afloria. We'll send the bucks down. Yana's um, will take care of you. Yeah, I'll uh, heal him while on our way out. Okay. Can we check to make sure he's not infected with worms too before we go? You can try. He heals for 30. Oh my god. He. I don't think he even has 30 health. Uh, oh. Wrong way. He's dead! <laughs> After all we went through. Oh, he does have 30. He has more than 31 health. Look at that. He has 35. Same. <laughs> I think you have more than 35, don't you? I might as well have 35 with the way I get hurt. <laughs> Never. All at once. Yeah. Okay, you heal him. On his way out. Or on your way out. Yeah, we wanted to do a medical exam too to make sure he's not full of worms. Uh, okay. How do you, um, do that? How do I look for worms in a guy? <laughs> you can do nature or medicine, I don't know. What is medicine? Medicine, boys, get in there. <laughs> oh, I'm not wise check, to do that. <laughs> nature or oh. medicine? I fail. Nope, no worms here, guys. I think we're all clear. Yeah. You don't, you don't see any worms in him. Oh, God, I swear, if he ends up dying after all this... <laughs> he was just going to be pet. worms. Yeah, I know. Just, what, do you think they would lay eggs in him or something? In his bloodstream? Do yeah. worms lay eggs? I'd never thought of that pretty sure they do <laughs> they don't give live birth actually i think they replicate but tapeworms worms lay eggs which hatch as little worms that makes sense okay <laughs> not big worms <laughs> <laughs> they're not full size <laughs> oversized worms perhaps that shrink down uh <laughs> benjamin button worms 
Um, yeah, you don't see any worms in him. You, you think like, yeah, no, he's healthy now. He's got, you know, doesn't look sick. Uh, all right. Well, maybe we should just send him up to the Bucks. I mean, there's only one room he has to get through anyway, and he's healthy now. The Bucks will take care of him. They're trained in medical. <laughs> yep, they're really good at it. Okay. I'd like to motivate him to go at least up the floor so he can get to the reinforcements since we're only one room away. Okay. Uh, yeah, give diplomacy. Um, okay. Luckily, I'm very good at diplomacy. I never fail it. Ever. Oh. He says, oh. Like I said. Well, if you've. If you guys are really as strong as you say, and you have reinforcements coming, I'll, I'll go up. You see the worms on the floor? We're as strong no. as we say. I don't oh. see any worms. <laughs> That's right, he was invisible. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and as... As... Uh, as... Thanks. For... Um, Saving him. Ready to save him. Yeah, he puts his hand on your shoulder and he says, uh, Um, puts his hand on your shoulder and he, he lands into you and says, You know, you're, you're a good. I'm a goblin. You're a good goblin. Hold on. I'm, I'm doing something. Um, he says, "Remember, you're the captain of your own ship, okay?" And uh, I don't have a ship. So you receive a ship. A ship. You receive some fortune, which means. For the next 24 hours, if you fail the skill check, you can re-roll it. Oh my god, we have to speed run this dungeon. <laughs> you only get it once. You get one skill check. Oh. Well, that's lame. I thought I was about to pop off. Give your girl a little lock drop. Uh, yeah. She says, thank you so much. I'll, I'll go on ahead and I'll go up the stairs. Is that you described? No, don't let him go first. <laughs> yeah, don't go first. Oh, yeah, uh, but you motivated him be... so much. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll let you, I'll give you guys a chance. Because what, what? Why shouldn't I open this door? You told me to go up. I told um, you to I'm go a little after suspicious us. of the other side of that door. So let the fish go first. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, go, go ahead, I'll, I'll do whatever I you say. I peek through Thanks. the door. <laughs> you peek. Give me, I forgot, we shouldn't be doing perception check, because you can just see. Give me stealth check, to sneakily, uh, and this should be hidden. Don't forget to hide it, yeah. Blind to general, I believe. Yeah, click the eyeball with the slash mark through it. Is that blind? Can you see that? Yeah. I can barely see that, that it was a 15. Okay. <laughs> uh, whatever. You start... peeking through the door. And you don't see any skeletons. And then, uh oh, you see, it's just the leg and the hand of a skeleton standing on the, the eastern end of the wall. He's standing. Standing. Ah, oh, great. You see enough to know that there's an. What was the worm's skeleton. name again? The worm's name? Volok. The. The no, not walks. the word. Oh. 
Dwarf, uh, Lasta. Lasta, so, you might need to wait a minute. Are we able to know that we passed the stealth check? I mean, we open the door, obviously, then we know they're not reacting to us. Uh, yeah, they're not reacting. Okay, I cast Ash Cloud in the room. They don't have lungs. <clears throat> and to make it clear because I don't I can't really tell where this burst is it's only in the room it doesn't affect the the room that we're in that's true it does not um, okay yeah they're they're dead <laughs> they're dead they're dead um, the terrain. Creatures in the cloud can't detect anything using their sense of smell. Creatures that start their turn within the cloud take 2, 4, 5 damage as their lungs fill with hot, acrid smoke. They don't have lungs. However, they are not explicitly immune to this. I'll say that the smoke starts like burning their their uh, bones and stuff like it's so hot it's you know starting to melt their bones and they'll be uh, affected by this I guess um <laughs> is the door still cracked let's close the door <laughs> uh, I close the door okay uh Okay, two, six, or three, four, you're doing six damage every, uh, for a minute, so that'll be ten times. Uh, yeah, so if you wait it out, if you wait out that minute, uh, you'll hear the skeleton bones just fall back to the ground. After some time, yeah, we wait till we don't hear any like more clangling of bones on the other side of the door. <laughs> As soon as you, you hear the clang of the bones down to the ground and you don't hear anything else, uh, the ash cloud will end after a minute. What do you do? You hear the sounds of bones crashing down to the ground. Uh, it's been one minute? Yeah. How long does the cloud persist for? One minute. One minute. We open the door. I peek through again. Yeah. Or I guess we just walk in. I, we heard some noises earlier from this direction. Maybe that's where uh, where Carmen went. Hold on. You step into the room. And. Uh, give me a perception check. All of us, or? Uh, yeah, sure. You just look around, and you see. From the skeletons, you see slow glowing blue light. And it looks like this. Except instead oh. of a dwarf, it's a bunch of skeletons. You see those on top of uh, each of the, the skeletons. Um. Yeah, 
before you walk up uh, I guess I'll let you stand there uh, what do you what do you do you see those they don't back you or anything you're just floating there I think we're safe to go through. Okay. I, uh, I walk in. And... Wait, why did that door close? Oh, I want to point out to, um... Oh my god, I forgot his name again. Larv... Lard. Lazda. Lazda. Um, I want to pull out the blueprints of the floors up above and show him which room that the bucks were in so he knows where to go. And so I'll, I'll, thank you. I'll head, I'll head straight there. You, you're sure it's safe up ahead? Seems like it now. Just let us walk through the room before you. Okay, thank you. Follow us to the stairs. He, he stands patiently behind, <laughs> behind Charlie. <laughs> I'm rolling perception to hear if there's still stuff going on behind this door. Um. Yeah, you hear uh, a, a kind of faint. You hear some tumbling of like metal, like sounds like rattling, and then some pipes. And you hear, you hear. You, you, the clicking or like slashing of a uh, against stone like right on the other side of the store you hear the echoing banging of pipes I tell that to my my allies hmm all right Lazda you go on up we've got business to take care of Thank you very much. And uh, did you all give him your names? I assume you guys just like exchanged that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell everyone of your heroics here. And don't forget, I'm gonna push merchandise too. Let them know. It, you can sell whatever you want in in my bar. Do 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 you sell any any drinks? Got a brewery? I've got rat's feet. Well, 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 we'll see if you have anything else you can sell. Uh, he, he goes running up. <laughs> <laughs> and probably doesn't die. He doesn't die. Probably. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hear that. What do you do? Right, it says... <laughs> What do you hear? Was it... Do you think Carmen's on the other side? Which door should we check first? I uh, I hear some... Some noises coming from over here. And we heard some shouting earlier, so maybe, maybe maybe he's in here. Um, I... Peek through. You peek and through. I will make this a blind GM roll. Blind GM roll. Did you? It doesn't. That's been pretty blind to me. I can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. Also, cannot see it. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Okay. Malik privately rolls Definitely the can't dice. see it. Question no. mark. Question oh, yeah, mark. So question mark. It says, mark, it says secret. Mark. Okay. Secretly. Start peering through the door. Maybe. I don't see anything. It lags, so I think I just end up closing it and opening it again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, you see uh, a bunch of some crates full of stone. Looks like there's a bunch of trash in this room. What kind of stone? Um, this room looks like all this stuff you sell, Junk. I think you'll really like this place. There's a lot of merchandise in here for you. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking. It seems, seems clear from what I can tell so far from this angle. I feel like since we started doing the speaking thing, you started placing them on the side that the door doesn't open on, like... Oh. <laughs> on yeah, the I back wall there. Put them where, they, they are. where they're supposed to be. Like, you saw the skeletons, like, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Valak was just, like, dead center, so... Yeah. Do you peek more? Ah, uh, yeah, I keep, I keep expanding it open. Keep expanding it. Expansion domain. I run in. Hmm. Yeah, so, let me describe this in a little bit more detail. You see, um,. Bunch of trash, you know, that this is brooms and things. Sweet, and it looks like there's a clear path uh, swept to this little chute here. Um, cleaned out of, of dust and debris, and it's all shoved either to the corners or you can see a little bit around the lip of this, this chute. Um, Uh, an open metal hatch lies in the floor against the room's east wall. Storage bin sits to the north and south, each heaped with old bones, broken tools, and lumps of stone. What do you do? I listen for where that sound was coming from. It's coming from the chute. You hear tumbling. Do you guys um... think Carmen got thrown down there? Oh god. Hello, hello, hello. It echoes back at you. Does that sound like Carmen to you? That sounded like me. Huh. <laughs> well, I guess he's not here. We should go check another room, maybe. Uh, Junkshot, give me a perception check. Pretty good roll, if you ask me. Look around. You, you see, you notice the bones all look like they're, they, they appear to be from the same creature. They look mm, These bones human. look like they're all from the same humanoid creature. <laughs> yeah. I say to my team. But they're, they're just kind of trashed around thrown into these uh, bins. Interesting. They've got sorted human carcasses over here. Um. Anything of interest inside of them? Just bones? bones. Are there any like weapons or anything that maybe it was former adventurers? Uh, there's a broom. But a nice broom, or...? No. I'll take it. <laughs> you take the 500-year-old broom. Ooh, it's antique! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for a lot. But I'll make them like they used to. <laughs> Planned obsolescence, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you take... The broom. And I need you to roll for initiative. There's no way. No. <laughs> Let me highlight all of you, add you to the combat tracker. Because as 
you put your hands into the storage bin. You hear rattling and howling come from behind oh, you. Oh God, what is that? <laughs> rattling and howling come from behind you. <laughs> Wow. This little ghosty guy <laughs> uh, doesn't like you for some Why? reason. Because you're competition. She senses junk on you. Uh, if Luria, my junk. Make your roll. It's oh, so your it's... move. And combat begins. With me, right? With. Yeah, you tied. Neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I take my free action and I run uh, with I my new broom. I can't move. I know, hold on. I can't move. Okay. <laughs> and I close the door. The Nothing the in there. <laughs> okay. It seemed like there was something. Nope. The, the, was there anyone down the chute? It sounded like someone was talking. Nope, just my voice echoing. Okay, <laughs> well, I guess Carmen's not in there. Uh, yep, I want to. The... I wouldn't even bother checking. Yeah, we both go to another door then, I guess. I end my turn. Okay. That's where you are. You're still standing next to the door. You hear creeping up claws against the other side of the store. I don't hear anything. Um, <laughs> don't know what that could be. Yeah, no it's idea. What was back there? Was it? Oh, nothing. Well, what was in that room? Uh, just nothing of junk. important. Junk shot. Tell me now. It was just a witch. I don't know. Carmine's not in there, so I'm not bothered. Some trash. Wait, we got priorities. She says, I don't trust you guys. You saved me, but. We need to find Carmen. He's not in there, I swear. She does nothing for now. Afluria. Just clearly there's something back there. Yeah, but not him. I go listen behind this door. <laughs> About to aggro everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't hear anything behind the door. Oh god. I think I hear uh Carmen through this door maybe. <laughs> no. Yeah, okay, give me this up here. <laughs> She's gonna kill you again. <laughs> no, sorry. I don't say that. I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't think you hear anything coming from over here. Maybe uh this is a safe way to go look for him. Um I also end my turn. Okay. Charlie. What do you do? I equip the lantern. Oh? Because I'm scared of these fucks. What, what the games they're playing? <laughs> what um, we play? I haven't played any games. I would never. I would never play games. Is it canon for the characters to giggle the way that they are when they're trying to deceive uh, <laughs> Tony <Don't be honest. laughs> <laughs> Nothing, Nothing's there. <laughs> Nothing of importance, just a nice broom. Uh, yeah. she, I mean, she knows there's something behind there, but she doesn't know. She All right, see so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pin myself up against the wall with Junkrat, afraid of whatever's in the door. Junkrat, thank you. Junkrat. Uh, Junkrat, uh, thank you. Playing it off like I just want to be near Junkrat. Junkshot, thank you. <laughs> okay, Junkshot. Uh, I'll, yeah, what, what's, what do you do? There's... I'm gonna delay my turn. Okay. You still hear scratching behind the door, and suddenly it stops. The combat is over. Yeah, see, I knew if we just closed the door, everything gets solved. Just ignore your problems, they'll go away. Let that be a life lesson to everyone. And she she kind of grits her teeth and says, uh, Junkshot, tell me now. And could Carmen be in that room? 
no. definitely not in that room. No, I saw in that room too. There's there's for sure nothing going on in there. What? There, there's really there's nowhere to go in there. What? Well. Uh, there was just like a little ghost thing playing with some pipes hidden. You know, have you seen Stomp? See, I mean, so Junk Shot, you saw that, um, the shoot. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. He wouldn't have gone down there. <clears throat> okay. Why would they I, throw a perfectly good body down there? I think it's deception. I so I don't think no so. You don't you don't believe he would have gone down there? No. Okay. I yelled down there and nothing yelled back, so I then <laughs> Okay. Then give me diplomacy. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give you diplomacy instead. Okay. It's like Fine. Really diplomatic, luckily. We, we better find him quick. If he was down there somehow, there's a different way around. Like through here! Oh. Anything well, I don't know what that is. Teleportation room, it looks like. Oh, yeah, that is... That is... Little chamber. Um, and from your notes, um, uh, you can awaken this portal. Um, and I think it's one way, unless you activate the other one. I don't know which one this takes you to. Me so neither. By chasing specific kinds on the wall room, someone could transport everyone in any one of these chambers to one of nine other portal chambers in the abomination vault so long as the teleportation cycles in both the departure chamber and destination have been awakened okay you, you can actually teleport to any of the portals as long as you've opened both of them so it's not one way it's no oh. ways right now interesting i could prove useful you do have to activate it first uh-huh One it's one hour to do it. To activate it? Yep. We don't have time for that right now. Behind this door, though. Oh. Behind this door, I see a tall wine rack. I was thick with dust after so many years, standing against the north wall. Oh. It's just the bottles, nothing else. Uh, no secret passage in here, perhaps? Are you want to look for one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, give me a perception. Dang. Uh, we don't see anywhere there could be a secret passage in this room. Hi, perception! <laughs> we don't see anywhere there could be a secret passage in this room. <laughs> Floria, go perception! <laughs> It's gotta be behind this door, Fluria. Was there anything there? Uh oh. You open the door and you see a, a washroom. And you see a, a skeleton in a bathtub. That he is, that he is. Well. This is the door. Huh? Everything's just dead here. Yeah, you open this room and the walls of this chamber are lined with cupboards, shelves and cabinets. A few barrels sit in the middle of the room. Two skeletons lie slumped near the barrel. And then these blue lights hanging over the skeletons dash over. Oh God. To this room as soon as you open the door This room? And then the skeletons rise. Get the door shut on them. Well, I need you to roll for initiative first. And then we lock the blue soul things in there. 
maybe I should just keep you in initiative while you do it next time. Doyana is uh does go first. Uh she goes, what what is it? See in there? Just a bunch of skeletons. Oh uh, we should kill them. She runs in. Oh god. Always murder with her. See she's laughing. <laughs> Oh my god, alright, you know what? All right, she yeah, can no, do good. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good on her. <laughs> she instantly kills one of them. Oh my god. Why do we have Malik in our party? We just need her. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Misses the second. Classic Malik move. <laughs> Jump shot. You're five feet away. Yep. What do you do? I can't move. I can't move! That's because the game is paused, but it's not anymore. I back up, and then I mock the skeleton's uh, bones for being smaller than average. <laughs> Surely he understands common. He does, actually. Um, he becomes frightened. He becomes too frightened. Uh-huh. Just as I suspected. And then, uh... Uh... I also... Will... What else can I do? Can you shoot? I can, but then I'm gonna shoot two people. That's only a little bit of damage. Yeah, but... Dorian just one-shot at it, so... <laughs> Don't want to get on her bad side. Yeah, I'm just gonna faint because I'm I'm gonna do another critical hit here. So I'm gonna twirl my pistol and faint it. Oh. Not a critical, Succeed but it's because of right. Yeah. Just barely. Uh. And I end my turn. Wow. Charlie Maine. It's frightened. It's off guard. It's flanked. It's ignited. Yeah, there's Maybe. no chance you miss with the... Bullet. That's crazy. <laughs> Give me some damages. 17 of them. See? Mm. Makes it injured. Woo. And then, oh. he runs away. <laughs> All right. uh, it's gonna turn and try to uh, bite. He's too scared. Miss, he's too scared. Mm -hmm. uh, but then he ends up natty 20 in her. But he's too scared, so it doesn't actually hit. It still hits. Um, Unsuccessful. Still hits. Uh, this is piercing because he's biting. And uh, okay, it bites her tongue, and now she can't cast spells unless she makes a flat check. Uh, but he's just gonna do some damage to her. That's ten damage. Um, that's his turn. A flurry. You hear some stuff going on. You see a skeleton. Uh, their foot and their arm. I look through this cabinet. You look through the cabinet and you find uh, some towels, some cloth, and some, uh, some 500 year old soap. Um. Does this skeleton seem okay? You, uh, you walk over to the skeleton. Like I get in the tub with him, you know? Yeah, you get into the tub with him. 
and the tub momentarily cleans itself. It's filled with soapy water, and it brushes over you with soapy water, uh, and then it returns to this, uh, this dusty state. The scent of harsh dish soap clings for a minute before it slowly fades away. 500 year old strong dish soap. Yeah. Like I said, they don't make it like they used to. 500 years is still good. I, um... Where is it? You got, you, you got an action left. No, that's not it. Not the spell. We're doing important work in the bathtub. I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't find... I make the water. I, I create water. Is that one action? Yeah. He's gonna I'll hydrate. It. Yeah. yeah. And fill it with water. Awesome. Wait, why do I have? I thought I had two actions left. I moved in the night. Well, you investigated the cabinet. It's not oh. Free. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, I'm just. I'm in the tub and there's water in there and I'm kind of laying flat on it and I'm gonna expand it next turn. She, uh, she, killed, she kills the skeleton. Is it because of the Frightened 2? Uh-huh. She critically hit by 19, but it's because of your, you know, your Frightened 2. Uh, yeah, if he wasn't scared, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, and combat is over once more. Great work, everybody. He's not in here either. We got one more door. She just runs over and rips I it open. I expand the water and um, I'm hydrating for a little bit. Carmen! She runs into this room. You expand the water. Okay. I'm just taking a few, uh, like 10 minutes to hydrate and heal. Exactly 10 minutes. Okay. Yep. Loriana runs I, into this room, and you guys can see a little bit. It looks like a kitchen or something for this uh, dining room. She's carrying up the table, banging around the, the pots and pans. And uh, she, she eventually just kneels down. Head in her hands. Hey, he any luck? Down the, he must be down the chute, I guess. Oh. Bummer. Shoot? Well, she... there's the trash chute, but... Yeah, she doesn't hear that, though. I'm in, the, I'm in the other room. Okay, fine. I mean, maybe she does hear me. I do say that, because I do hear what's going on out there while I'm swimming. <laughs> but, like... I don't I don't know if she heard me say it what's, to what's myself. What's perception? Uh, it's, it is a lot. But, but, yeah, she doesn't hear it. All right, Doriana. Back to the first room, then. What, We're going out the trash chute. There's a trash chute? It was pretty small. I she didn't think anyone else would she fit. She the back, back of your neck and says, and, no, 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 hold on. She grabs the back of your neck and pulls you around. Why didn't you tell me? Well, like I said, we could probably find a better way around. I said there's got to be a better way. I, I said we can go down, but... It wouldn't really make sense for all of us to just go through on a trash chute we don't know anything about. You didn't tell me there's a trash chute? Well, yeah, I said I yelled and there's no one responded. He did. It. Yeah, that, that's true. He didn't true. say that. He didn't say he yelled down a trash chute. Because <laughs> she didn't see into the room. She didn't know that there's a trash chute in there. But she says, fine, out of my way. She throws you down. Goes running in. She says, what? How many minutes did that conversation take? Like, probably a few, right? <laughs> yeah, that was a really long 10 minute exchange. Well, I mean, like, she has to be looking through these rooms yeah, for more than just looking, like a she quick was looking glance. In the kitchen for a while. Alright, cool. I'll so it's been it. like probably 10 minutes then. Probably exactly 10 minutes, yeah. Oh, shit. Alright, nice. She says, I don't see anything in here. So she just jumps down the trash chute. And as <laughs> I was going to push her down. <laughs> no, she, she just runs straight down the trash chute, and as she does, 
Why why did the ghost not trigger before she jumped down? It triggers as soon as she touches the trash chute, but she just dives straight through. Uh, so roll for initiative. I also dive straight through. Do you? Do all of you yep. just jump straight through the trash chute? I jump straight in. That is my intention. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll just give it to you. You can just do it before the thing has a chance to attack. Does Charlie do that? I eat in. Yeah, I don't have another option. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You all just dive down the trash chute. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Dude, what could possibly go wrong? I, I want to give me a reflex save. I want it to be known that I am, in fact, a goblin. Oh? And what do goblins get to do? If you don't, if, so, this, if you don't want to just go straight down, you can try to slow your descent. Why is it not say it? Say what? I'm pretty sure I take half damage from falls. Like, okay. I can fall twice as far as other people. You, you can try to not fall all the way down with either a reflex or acrobatic save. Is this shoot straight down or is it like a slide? I'll reflex save. Is it's it like at like an angle down. or? Is that, okay. is that to prevent yourself from falling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you perfectly. You stop in place. Uh, but I, a flurry. Of, so Doriana just she did not stop. She went straight down. Uh, and I will show you now. A flurry is next. You got to make. What is this trying to do? To stop? What land? Do, I do, did it very well, I think. Do I you think try to stop sure. yourself from falling, or what? Um. Yeah, it just I create water underneath me and I splash into it, and I expand it up style. to catch me. So I like drop a bunch of water below me and I start expanding it upward. To catch yourself? Uh, yeah, trying to fall into myself. It doesn't work. You fall to the bottom. Give me another reflex save. <laughs> this one for sure. Yeah. Oh, you. So what is the? Sorry, thirty-one is not double. That's not a crit. So you're gonna take God six damn damage. Never lucky. Uh, I'll do it to you. Six damage. Did you crash down? Uh, at the bottom of the chute. Now, Junkshot stopped himself. And Charlie Main also jumped in, however. He's gonna bump into Junkshot uh, for uh, one damage. Junkshot. What the frack? <laughs> Thanks for catching me. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I don't have this. Unbreakable goblins, which is what I am, take reduced fall damage. Okay. I, I have it set as my ancestry, so... I know I didn't change it. Um, How far of a fall was this? A long fall. Uh, so you, you managed to stop yourself, but to like sit, you're like going straight down. So in order to like traverse it, you, you're gonna need to give me uh, athletics. Otherwise, oh, I'm gonna start falling again. Good thing I'm really athletic. I, I can't be acrobatic about it. No, because you need to like Frick. fall. Ah. Uh, you release your your grip on the the sides of this pipe to start try to crawling down. You just start falling. And you fall to the bottom of the chute. Give me a reflex save. How long of a fall? From halfway down. How long of a fall? Uh, oh my god. It's a uh, uh, measurement. Why can't I? Uh, 35 feet. 
Bro, that's fine. I take half fall damage and we can fall 15 or so? 20 feet before we take damage? Okay, so you take half damage. You still give me a reflex save. No, I don't take half damage. I fall as if it's half the distance. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, no damage. Uh, Charlie Main, without his, without his blocker there, starts to fall. Do you, do you try to stop yourself? Yeah, I use, uh, when Junkrat starts to slip, I <laughs> elemental motion, and I can fly down. Okay. Yeah. That just works. Um, and yeah, you glide down to the bottom into this, this pond here. This rusty metal chute protrudes from the ceiling. You just come out of, you just end over a pool of slimy water. A huge mound of fungus lies under the tube against the west wall, resting in a strangely monstrous shape. Uh, who's this guy over here? What guy? The one I'm pointing to. Oh, hold on. The camera didn't see that. Uh, oh, I know him. <laughs> I know that guy. You know that guy? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Malik knows him or Fluria knows him? Malik knows him. Okay, okay. This is where um the rat died. So the rat. Okay, you guys all fall down <laughs> you look over uh, you, you see that campfire you see that guy standing over it, and you see Carmen beaten bloody at his feet nearly dead uh, those guys are really strong I guys. can't shoot my pistol it'll kill him <laughs> Unless you get that guy away from him. You see, he looks over to you. Says you. You think Me? you can come in my domain? I think oh, I'll come destroy in. you all. We got a comer. Come in your mom's domain. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Doriana steps forward and says, ah, My love, what have you done to him? Uh, and we will end here. What? I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, those guys are uh, really strong. And you know what else they are? Named They're characters. Druid. They are oh. druids. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a named character. No, he's not. Mm, yeah, he is. Is the dog named? The dog is technically named. No, that's uh, we're no. There's no technicality. <laughs> it is a unique creature. It is not rare. It is unique, and it has a name. But is he named? It has a name. Hmm. <laughs> But, but well, well, well. You saved last, uh, and you, you, because you did that. I can sell merchandise at the bar. Yeah, so that's pretty big. And that's pretty that huge is... personal quest accomplishment right there. But yeah, you guys are, uh, you guys are in for a, a good fight. Coming up next time on Dragon Ball Z. God. Perfect. <laughs> Maybe next time uh, we won't have a short uh, two-hour session with uh, Elijah, and you guys will have a having for the full three hours. Yeah, just... luckily, How... luckily it was oh. just the two hours <laughs> we could be here the whole time. Yeah. How's the Kevin like recruitment going? Ah, uh, not good. Oh. Okay. Yes, I, I said this off stream. I'll say it on stream though. Um, Kevin's a bitch. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. just repeating what he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
He's not. He's not watching this, so it doesn't matter. Um, but <laughs> he, did, he did say he would absolutely play if I wrote my own campaign. He also, yeah. and I quote, <laughs> "Will not get up at nine o'clock." <laughs> that too. This guy also like basically doesn't have a job. So I know that's what I told him. Just like sleep later. Yeah. Just a good loser. Just either sleep at a normal time or just go to sleep after noon. Because uh, he kind of does that anyway. Uh, but I did, uh, independently of that, come up with a uh, what I think is a really cool idea for a campaign. Um, so I'm going to be working on that for the next several years. Um, so we'll see. If I if I finish it before this one, I would want to do that. Uh, but if not, uh, we'll... Uh, figure out what we're gonna do and separately uh, another thing I said important for all our radish patch gaming uh, fans and, and the followers out there um, I'm gonna switch up how we're doing Delta green because the scheduling does not really work out uh, particularly with our two other players of Kevin and Smith uh, makes it difficult um, that it's taking us like a They're year to do a, a five session story it's taken us like a year to do that, so, um, and part of that is also I'm prioritizing this campaign as well. Um, so I think that'll instead just be a break in between, like, our, our main campaign, whatever that is, whatever game we're playing, which is probably going to be Pathfinder. Um, I think we can use Delta Green or some other game. We'll just take breaks, uh, trying out other systems, other games. Um, that would be cool. Uh, but first, we need to finish this first uh, Delta Green adventure, so there, there will be, at some point, a two-week break from Pathfinder as I want to finish that up. Just get that out of the way, because um, we're like almost at the end of it. Uh, so that'll be coming up probably in March, I think. Um, but yeah, just know, for all the Radish Patch gaming fans out there, uh, I'm, I'm going to start working on my own campaign. And maybe that'll be enough to get Kevin to play. <laughs> um, and I will be uh, talking to you guys I need to get a lot more uh, uh, planning done first but in the coming months because uh, I'll be I'll be graduating from a master's program in May and I'll have way more wow. time uh, yeah. assuming I pass this class I'll have I mean, you'll, go time. Back. you'll be going back to like full time work though right? I'm already full time working uh, but I'm only taking one class, so I already have a lot more time than I used to. Um, oh, you're not doing the half time thing anymore? No, I'm working full time because I only have one class, so it's I can uh, that's easy. Um, yeah. I still ha I think I still have more time than if I was taking three classes and working part time. Because uh, one class is like really easy, um, mm. but just just because like you don't accumulate as many like weekly assignments, you know. Um, yeah so i'm gonna start working on that uh but i'll be seeking input from you guys as to uh, you know shaping the, the the story and what uh we want out of it um that'll, that'll be coming much later just know that's that's something i want to start working on um it again probably doesn't happen for a couple years but i'm thinking now we started playing uh, all these games in, in 2020, so we've only done, what, two campaigns, three <laughs> campaigns? Uh, so after this one, maybe we'll, we'll do uh, Homebrewed World. We'll see. Oh. See how that comes along. Uh, it's probably going to be not just after Abomination Vaults, but after <laughs> another The one adventure. after Abomination, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So it's it's probably one and a half campaigns from now. Yeah. So big news coming up for the future of uh, I'm sure we'll have like millions of viewers by then. Definitely. That's true. With, with all the marketing and advertising I'm doing, all the great uh, interaction with chat, you know, in, on the <laughs> it's pretty lively today. Yeah, I don't I don't even know if anyone's watching because I don't have it open. Um, uh, one is one person is <laughs> one person. <laughs> Big help. Um, yeah, yeah. The biggest fan. 
number one fan, Mikkel. Uh, so that'll be coming up if you guys are interested in doing that. I'm gonna write it whether you guys are interested or not. But um, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, that that'll be one and a half campaigns from now. Um, <laughs> maybe with my weekly pestering of Kevin to play Pathfinder with us, uh, maybe by then it'll it'll work. How's Tyler? Maybe if you just write your own system, uh, he would enjoy that too. So consider that as well <laughs> <laughs> to get to get him to play. Is uh, scratch anything that already exists and is well balanced, but instead make something that you make. Um, and, and, and you know fun. anything with good production value and art and music and writing all pre-done and you know you can just jump in and play and have a good time with your friend yeah, just scratch all of that you know like <laughs> yeah you written with professional writers professional story writers and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and you know designers. like uh, yeah. Uh, yeah it honestly the hardest part is making all your own fucking maps like these are such like intricate maps with all the doors and the vision and the yeah, scene transitions and stuff and... like do, doing it on your own is actually so much work it's annoying it was a ton of work when i was even when i was doing it for kingmaker and i had maps and i was just like mm. adding the walls and stuff and adding the lighting and the the scene transitions even that was like like i don't know an hours a week yeah it was rough <laughs> like these these, pre story. these pre built packs are like way better yeah it's really nice yeah. But, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I would advise like if you do end up writing your own, like in draw inspiration from like some giant pre-made pack. Yeah. Like get, and also get pre just don't even change any of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna end up buying like maps and stuff, right? Because we had to buy this. This cost money, but like, uh, I'll buy like map packs and stuff because there's a bunch of creators out there, and well, all just, that sort just of stuff. Just get an adventure pack with all these characters and scenes and stuff, and then just write your own story around it. Uh, maybe that might work. But so that will save you so much time and effort. Like it's already hard enough to write the story, even if you have like a setting to draw inspiration from. Yeah, I th I think it will be more open ended than like something like this though. It's not gonna be like, you know, A B C D, you know, floor one, floor two. Mm. It'll be. Like, I'll, I'll plan, like, a general plot line. Because uh, when we were playing Starfinder, that was no plans whatsoever. Um, I was lost sometimes. Yeah. But that was the hard part about playing that, right? Like, I, I'd love to play Starfinder again, but with a one of these. But we're also playing Theater of the Mind, too. Right? We didn't have maps at all. Yeah, yeah, so I know. But I'm saying, like... And, and it was fun for, like, a while, but at a certain point it got overwhelming because we didn't have direction. Yeah. yeah. I also couldn't fight... Yeah, and our fighting was really bad. Um, but I think I like with, Star with Starfinder 2E and an adventure path, I think it could be really fun. I agree. Like if we, had, if we had one of these for Starfinder, it would have been awesome. Like, like just a directive system. Like we had some sort of guidance in the plot. So Starfinder 2E, they're planning to be the end of 2024. So I think, especially with the, the setting I want to do, it's probably going to be closer to Starfinder than Pathfinder. Um, Pathfinder could work in it, uh, but I wanted a little bit more emphasis on technology. Um, so I think that, that could work. Um, but yeah, I agree. Doing a pre-made story from Starfinder would be a lot of fun, especially if you know it'll be 2E and I'll, the rules will actually be Pathfinder um, and not that god-awful system um, yeah <laughs> but uh I, I like the flavor of all the the tech and stuff and the science fantasy stuff uh, yeah and all the really alien cool. art stuff is really cool and all that so yeah. i had fun with all all that stuff it's just it was just the uh <laughs> system was trash the system was trash and we hadn't we weren't playing with the adventure path and it made it kind of difficult yeah uh so oh, yeah with, with the new system and an adventure path i think it'd be really fun to revisit starfinder i agree so, uh, regardless of all that, I, I do want to play my own story, uh, but like, I think you're right, like, doing the maps and stuff, uh, I want to pull a lot from. But I do think over the course of like two years, I, I can uh -huh. pull together enough assets and start building things out. Um, and similar to what I was doing with Kingmaker, sometimes you guys would just run around and be like, oh, we're going to go 
attack this stuff and i just have to pull a map like a random map out um so i think i'd also have like a bunch of like backup like battle maps of like oh you're fighting here all of a sudden so i have to have like a generic battle maps ready mm. um but i think that's fine i'm gonna i'm gonna take again this is gonna take a long time i'm saying two years it's probably gonna be more <laughs> I'm planning for two years, so I'm, well, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not worried about like having enough stuff set up. I'm thinking we're pretty close to finishing this adventure path. I'm disagreeing with you. <laughs> 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 like we're probably a couple months away, right? It depends on how fast you. Uh, we've picked up the pace. Because it's probably faster. what like. Like one or two more floors. Like I, I mean, you don't have to answer that because I don't want to know. But I, I mean, I don't you know. know. I can't imagine. I can't imagine there's that many more floors left. I think I've both told you, and I think it's like on the the player's guide as well how many floors there are. But if you don't like, know, I won't. I won't remind you. Yeah, but I mean, I this. So you're over leveled. You're on the fourth floor. You're supposed to be level four, maybe five at this point. Uh, um, and you're level six. So no you're fucking way. We're over leveled, and we almost died to the f one guy. Well, that was a boss yeah, he... fight. Two shot me, basically. Yeah. <laughs> that was a boss fight. Um, I didn't. And it, if I wasn't leveled, he would have basically killed me in one hit. Yeah. So. Um. But. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I think we're picking up the pace, and it's. Not too much left, I feel like. We're supposed but... to end at like level 11 or 12. Oh my god, we are not even close, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. You're only leveled at level 6, so you're not halfway through. Oh no. <laughs> but I think I've gotten better GMing even over the course of this campaign. And I think we figured out, we've hit our stride, kind of. Um, okay. It'll, well, it'll if go we... faster pace-wise than in the past. Okay, then maybe once we finish this adventure path, we start a Starfinder 2e adventure path. Yeah, because from now on, Paizo is releasing every single adventure path with the Foundry uh, built in. So there's like oh, five, six now. Actually, yeah. Uh, including Kingmaker that they redid, and it's like $120 if you want the Foundry stuff too. Because um, that one's huge. That's a 1 to 20 campaign. Yeah, I mean, um, it'd probably take us the rest of the year to finish this one, and then yeah, next year, like after the holidays when we take a break or whatever, like next January, we uh, we start up, log in a Starbinder 2e. Yeah, so it's sh it's sh they said it should be out by the end of this year. Hopefully. Uh, or or like beginning first quarter of 2025. Um, so. It should be done uh, by then, and then they'll have they release the adventure on launch too. Mm -hmm. um, so there should be, you know, it they come out monthly. I don't think we finish a book a month. Um, we probably take like three months for a book, so there'll be a whole adventure out <laughs> on release. Yeah, basically. Um, so yeah, Starfinder would work, and then after that maybe then we play my story depending how long it takes yeah or we can come back to this one <laughs> if you don't finish this one no i mean like the the sequel to this one. Oh yeah with with this characters you continue this storyline uh yeah you do that so all plans for very far in the future um yeah sounds stupid cat uh, i have to go fastness Stupid cat. You're not allowed on my desk, buddy. But I will talk to you guys next weekend. Yeah. Talk to you guys See you guys. Bye. Love bye. you. Bye. Love bye. you. Bye. Peace.